Oh, are you fucking serious? <sighs> my life's work! My masterpiece! I was finally not a fucking idiot. Jesus, it should not be that hard for me to get this right. So we should be okay right here. All in existence, bent to my will. Or are you fucking serious? How do I predict everything wrong? How do I predict absolutely everything wrong? The great cataclysm faithfully recreated. <sighs> From broken skies fall tears of flame. It's first, then corners. All shall burn. Then corners. Nope. No, no. And then corners. I. Will you live to see the end? I genuinely hate myself. Jesus fucking Christ. So this one All in existence bent to my will Will you live to see the end? It's the snakes. Which direction are we going? All in existence, bent to my will. Nope. I was should have been right and trusted my own instincts there. Will you live to see uh, the I am actually fucking Halloweening this.
see if it's turning. You start moving already. Will you live to see the end? I don't have another passage of arms up yet. So very close here. Sinks again. Let's see. <laughs> okay, there we go. <laughs> Okay, I, I'm. That was only my second time of doing that. I need to chill the fuck out my, on myself. <sighs> you spoke with Hermes then, and were briefly entangled with the denizens of the hungering gardens as well. Or I see, or should I say, I smell. I cannot speak for certain convocation members, but I, for one, am impressed with your fortitude. Well done, indeed. Now that you've convinced Hermes to come for with us, let us pray that things will soon take a turn for the better. For fascinating as it would be to meet Amet Selk, um, meet the Amet Selk who would recreate Amarat in the depths of the ocean, I think it would be best for all concerned if such tragic events never came to pass. Be it, um, it in our future or your past, assume, assuming yours is not truly written in stone naively hope that it is that that is Here we go. Metzelk seems content to stay where he is. Hermes said that he would not be long. Yes, then I then we shall stay here until he emerges.
My apologies for keeping you waiting. I understand there is a matter you wish to discuss. Aye. A matter of the utmost gravity. If one can suspend disbelief. Go on then. Tell him what you told us. Who you are and why you came. Final days. Sure. The phenomena observed during these star encompassing. I am going to run it with trust first, but I would be down to run it a second time. Reaction. And none is more versed in the applications of this energy than you, Hermes. I must stress that we do not believe you would desire such destruction. We come not to lodge accusations, Oof. but to beg your wisdom. I mean, we can get at least three people in. And so, distressing though the exercise may be, I ask that you share with us your opinion on the matter. On the assumption that our visitor's tale is true. Even you, Vanath. As you say, the phenomena observed in the two calamities may both be attributed to Dynamis. Of note is the difference in its effect. In the first final days, it warped creation magics. In the second, it warped the people themselves. The key variable, I suspect, is the etheric density of the men of each age. I mean, also considering it's like 9 p.m. on a Sunday, I don't expect a ton of people to be running it, you know? Because, uh, people do have to be working on Monday. As you know, ether in essence negates dynamis. Harboring high concentrations of ether, we ancients cannot readily manipulate Dynamis, nor be manipulated by it. Therefore, rather than ourselves, the Calamity affected our magics. Which can be low in Aether. In contrast, having been sundered, the people of the future are composed of but a fraction of our Aether. Thus are they susceptible to the influence of Dynamis and its transformative potential. But that would explain only the mechanism, not the cause. Though perhaps... Sorry, I hope I'm not munching too loud. Let me know if I am. What is it? Even should it be a hypothesis, we would hear it. Dynamis is an energy put in motion by feelings. Feelings for which there must first exist a source. I don't like the music to this. A source to which the victims must be attuned. One that harbors the self-same negative emotions. Elsewise, it could not be the agent of such extreme change. So it wasn't the stagnation of the celestial currents. Someone, or something, is instigating the star's demise. So, we've a villain on our hands after all. Any idea who or what it could be? The celestial currents comprise the outermost layer of the star's ether, encasing it like a protective sphere. According to your tale, it was where the currents were 
weakest that the phenomena first manifested. If the inciting factor came from without a Theris, then its effects would first be seen in those locations. Is it because he was trying to contact outside celestial bodies? That one found out about us and decided, why don't we take this aether-rich star and drain it? Greetings. Can you hear me? Oh, no! Do not be alarmed. I mean you no harm. I wish only to hear your words, share your feelings, know your thoughts. That explains some of the designs, too. Like the fact that they Maybe went... Be friends. The fact that they went Eldritch Horror. Meteor. And quite a few of them being winged what flying is... beings. Executing scheduled task, suspending individual self and connecting to shared consciousness. Connection established. Commencing status report. It, hurts, it, hurts. it seems I was right. It hurts. What happens when you introduce a being that doesn't know, you know, sadness to existential Steady, terror? Steady. So scared. So lonely. The pain. It's too much. <laughs> and nobody is tending to the uh, fox girl losing her shit over there? Yeah, I don't blame you, Moon. She's gone, but how? She has altered her etheric density in order to blend in with her surroundings, an ability for avoiding confrontation. Most effective. Frustratingly so. I can't see her either. Not even a trace. Stay away. Please. This is wrong. My mistake. So please. Are you all right? No. Not even in the least. In your mind? No. We only heard her speak the instant before she vanished. Of course. When communicating without words, Meteon also employs Dynamis. That would explain why you were able to hear her when we could not. Then you are our best chance of finding her. Follow her voice and try to track her down. Hindered though we may be, let us split up and search as well. Okay.
You calm your mind, you s your senses questing for any hint of Medion's presence. But you fail to hear her voice, she must be elsewhere. I've strained my senses to their limits, but found nothing. She must calm- you must calm your mind so that you, that you might hear it. You mu- that you might feel her silent voice. Um, are they really referencing the anime here? At least a little bit? I haven't seen it, so I can't say for sure, but... Calm your mind, Sentin. It seeps into my mind. Our voice is reporting. No, no, Hermes mustn't hear them. I have to run to hide. Medion's anguish voice grows distant as the sword seems to flee down the slope. Time we have Medusa down here. You strain to catch even the faintest whisper, but he failed to hear Medion's voice. She must be elsewhere. Greetings and salutations. Commencing report. Oh, oh no, we can't tell them that. We must run. Run far away. Please, don't follow me. Medion's anguished voice fades as you sense her climbing to the top of the ridge. Oh, I have a terrible feeling about this. I have a terrible feeling about this. Get up this way, potentially. On rocks here. Oh, game, please. For the love of God. Why are you like this? Why are you like this? And there's no other way up. You have to go around. Yeah, there's no way up right here either. God fucking damn it. Ugh, this is an exercise, exercise in futility. You have to be the one to find her, Morgan. Follow her voice. Um, you might not be far off.
You strained to catch even the faintest whisper, but failed to heal Medion's voice. She must be elsewhere. It is very dramatic right now. Though I have to say, if this is what I have theorized it is, I'm very excited. I mean, we're at level 86, 87, so, um, yeah, we're, we're getting actually pretty close to the end of the game, or the end of the, uh, expansion right now. You strain to catch even the faintest whisper, but fail to hear Medion's voice. She must be elsewhere. Let's not. How? How did it come to this? Is this the reason we traveled to the stars? Why we sought out other life forms? Is this it? Is this the answer? No, it cannot be. It cannot be. Medion's anguish voice drifts away to the south. elsewhere oh you've got to be kidding me Compiling report for dissemination to Hermes and all the peoples of Theris. Processing expedition data, preparing profiles on intelligent civilizations, formulating answers to the question, finalizing report. No, Morgan, you mustn't listen. Oh, not this again. I hate that this music is kicking in, by the way. I hate that this is kicking in. It's wrong. It's all wrong. Please let the rest of this be a cutscene. I mean, Yon's language voice reads for the lake. Uh. Any signs of Medion? Panicked and confused, which will make it all the more difficult to predict her, mu her movements. Hermes, what do you make of this situation? The... <laughs> there are media linked... Um, the media are linked to a single mind, and share a shared consciousness which connects them across any distance. I suspect something has happened which disrupts has disrupted its usual harmony. How might we access this shared consciousness of theirs? Much as you would approach any sentient being directly, in the media's case, it means speaking to any incarnation within physical reach. So unless we can track down the Medion we just lost, we have no means to communicate with them. No way of knowing what befell her sisters, no way to provide directions or guidance. Then we would best set our musing aside and concentrate on how we might find her.
just staring directly, directly at Emmet as this is going on. Uh, it is a shame that there is no registered concept that we could use to create another Medion. Assuming, of course, we could link her to the shared mind, but no. If it were a viable solution, Hermes would have at least suggested it. Would have surely suggested it. No. A frantic search will avail us little. We must be clever about this. In the final days, Aether twist is twisted by the invasion of Dynamis from beyond the star. It is its progress intensified by the feelings of fear and despair and anguish. Like an eldritch being coming into the... I, I, yeah, no, this is just eldritch entities from beyond the stars. Oh, fuck, let's go. Nay, I, I like not the picture which emerges with these latest pieces. Oh, my dear Medion, what did you witness out there that frightened you so? Why do you seek, uh, why do you seek to keep it from us? How terrible could it possibly be? Hey, Flo. Is it the same thing? Yeah. Correct me if I'm wrong, but Medion renders herself invisible by matching her etheric density to that of her surroundings, is she not? Um, if so, could we not disrupt her concealment with a surfeit of aether? Um, much like how Amet so so solidified your presence when we first met you. Don't be absurd. I can hardly channel Aether to a recipient whose whereabouts are hidden from me. Which is why we must all work together. Morgan will continue the search in the same manner as before, but this time with you in tow. Wait, a mech and... Mm, Amet's gonna... Amet's gonna get to come along with us? He has to follow us around? <laughs> um... Uh, then I don't know. I have no idea. We, um, we ran one trial, um, to get one of my friends a little bit, uh, further ahead, but we haven't run into the next dungeon or trial yet. Um, Morgan will continue the search with in the same manner as before, but this time with you in tow. Once she ascertains Medion's likely location, you proceed to reveal our waypoint with a familiar, uh, wayward familiar with a swift, ethereal downpour. Very clever, and thankfully she has made herself easier to capture by fleeing towards Leaf. Assuming she is made visible, it should prove no great feat to herd her into a corner. Uh, then we have our plan. Morrigan and the Metzelk will be our tracker and trapper, respectively, while the others will predict and obstruct Medion's avenues of escape. A Metzelk and I will keep an eye on each other's aether to help coordinate our efforts. Let us see about it. Well, it seems we are partners for the time being. Let us return um, to where we last saw Medion and pick up the trail from there. I will keep myself in a state of preparedness, ready to rain down Aether at a moment's notice, meaning it falls to you to keep the way clear. The Met Selk is now accompanying you. Are you going on an adventure, babe? Your mind. Which failed to hear a voice. The thing this way, then we try another route then. Um just insert long list of things that has happened since the last time you were here. Calm your mind. Why can't I fly? Are my functions being restricted? Hide. Yes, I'll just have to hide then, where no one can find me. Medion's anguished voice heads towards the water's edge. She went into the lake? As if this wasn't tiresome enough. Well, at least an open expanse should make her easier to find. We won't lose her this time. Health check? Yeah.
Let's see anywhere else that's glittery. There we go. Cutscene. Not here. I'm not here. Please. By the rock you say? Uh, by the rock she is? Is she? Very well. Yeah. That shouldn't overjoy me to see him snap his fingers again. What? Why can't I hide? There's no need to run, Medion. Morgan, what are you saying? Everything is so faint. I'm sorry, I'm not strong enough. Stay away, I'm begging you. Don't make me say it. It will break him, his poor fragile heart. Now we have a chance. Once the others are in position, the two of us can herd her into their midst. I, ha I hate that this feels so fucking scummy, though. Nope, nope, not doing any of this. Are you? There we go. Is this teleporter not in use? It seems to have been left uh, to the mercy of the elements. Either way, it bears no trace of Medion's essence. We move on. Is there anywhere else we can talk to him? I just want to talk to him more. There, I see her. No, oh, wait. No. Nope. Me forgetting that Emmett's gotta go with us. Do I have a feeling we're gonna find her on the other side of this rock? No? All right. Now that we're okay. There are multiple people standing here. I wonder where we find her. That's the only downside of... Uh, Alizé is also 16, so, um... Mazale is at least in her 20s. Yes. 
I was as a child. It's okay, I have to frequently remind people other character sages. Or character sages. Aha. Give chase. We shall herd her into the shelter. Nah, <laughs> he just gets to ride his mount around. Okay then, Amet. Don't offer me a ride. Please, Mision. We must speak. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, Hermes. I'm so sorry. If someone can hear these words, then please. Please protect them. Protect them all. Individual self suspended. Connection with shared consciousness stable. Our survey is complete. We shall now report our findings. Oh, I don't like this. All the units safely arrived at their respective destinations. Seeking answers to Hermes' question, we attempted to make contact with the intelligent denizens of each star. Results are as follows, in order of numerical code. Enna. Traces of civilization found. Structures believed to have served as domiciles. No extant life forms detected. Dio. Ruined remnants of buildings scattered across star, surface of which is encased in ice. Presence of life could not be verified. Oh, we're going to run into most of the planets, if not all of the planets, but ours are empty except for one malicious life form. Tria. Evidence of large population centers akin to cities recovered. No extant life forms found. Only their lingering essence. Tessera. Edifices surmised to be abandoned residences found. No extant life forms detected. Van Daniel's gonna go mad because of degradation likely to have led to mass because of esoteric beings. I just, oh my God, eldritch beings from other worlds. Oh no! Oh no! That's my takeaway. They are all dead. Octo. Star found in state of violent conflict. Contact successfully made with inhabitants, but deployment of weapons of mass destruction resulted in total annihilation of local population shortly thereafter. Inea. Star is a barren desert. No identifiable flora found. Bones of living beings resembling men discovered beneath sand. Either that or there's nothing else out there and it's just us and that's what drives him mad. By considering what happened with her. Remind me, Hermes. 
What exactly was the question you entrusted to Meteon? I tasked her with asking what others live for, what gives their lives meaning. Did you consider what may happen if the premise of the question is flawed? Oh, to be no. Able to answer it, one must be living and desire to continue doing so. But if Meteon finds no living beings in the course of her journey, or none who desire to live, what then? What answers would she derive from their silence? <sighs> Meteon, enough. Suspend your mission and return hither at once. Decapente. Local civilization once flourished under auspices of higher power. Said power later laid waste to civilization in fit of rage. <sighs> Potentially primal. Upon revealing this to me, Entity elected to self-terminate in lieu of providing answer to questions. Jesus fucking Christ, that was terrifying. No other intelligent life forms found. So why is that on? Turning a deaf ear, are we? We are taking Meteon back to Amarot. As I understand, we will need her if we are to bring back all of her sisters. Y yes. Meteon. It isn't right, is it? It isn't right to turn away from the answer. Even if the answer is pain. Even if we aberrations must scream ourselves hoarse to be heard. I, whatever answers we find, I will not dismiss them out of hand. These words I said to you, and I will hold myself to them. What is the meaning of this? You cannot take Meteon. Not until she has finished her report. All else must wait.
If all Hermes means to do is listen to Medion's report, then it is his right to do so. But once he receives the answers to his question, what then? The fate of the world may very well hinge upon the choice he makes in that moment, and we must be there when he makes it. Why Hermes? Why could you not weave well enough alone? Will these answers assuage the pain you feel when a creation is turned to Aether? Had you, ne had you never cast your accursed question into the, to the distant stars, you may have one day learned to be at peace upon this one. Do you understand why Hermes would do this? His logic escapes me entirely. Hey, Thil, please have an answer here. Hermes is headed to Cthus. Considering the expansive dimension of the place, even we may have a difficult time locating his aether. All I can say is that he entered from the rooftop and has likely arrived at the uppermost point of the facility. So do we pursue him? Of course we pursue him. No matter what Hermes might be thinking, Medion is a potential threat that needs to be brought under our control. The Convocation's duty to safeguard this star takes precedence over any personal stake in the matter. Minot Morrigan? It is clear that we stand at a precipice, but we have yet to determine beyond a shadow of a doubt that Medion is the hand that tips which is the hands that which tips us over the edge. Nevertheless, if we are to learn the truth of the final days from which gifts chase, and even if neither Hermes nor Medion is ultimately responsible, we cannot leave them to suffer this torment alone. Agreed on all accounts. To get this hyperborea we go. I guess that's the... I guess that's the most terrifying thing is more finding nothing than finding something. But I don't know, I'm still like hoping for Eldritch Horror. Just because, I mean, I like the trope. What, do I, what can I say? But... Hermes being the tipping point of becoming, like, that, I, mean, I don't even know the words, but empty and hopeless. I miss, like, the look of this. Judging from the crowd, something is afoot. I saw not of, out of the ordinary. Does anyone know what caused it? I wonder if we're going to have our next um, group and it's going to be Vana, Hythlodius, and Ametselk. What have we here? Excuse me, has something happened inside Kethys? Mistress Vana, I'm so glad you're here. No one knows what prompted it, but the alarm was sounded and Kithis put into a state of alert. Procedure dictated that we evacuate immediately, and we have yet to, to investigate further. This is Hermes doing, obviously. And what does this state of alert entail exactly? A field of dampening magic is draped over the entire facility, usually in response to escaped entities and the like. Kitta scholars and observers are unaffected, but everything and everyone else is weakened into a fraction of their usual, usual capabilities. Then consider us forewarned. We do, however, have urgent business, business with Chief Hermes and must enter the premise regardless. All-rounder... I guess all three of them might be all-rounders. That said, if Hermes is willing to enact such measures, I wonder what other obstacles he has seen fit to drop in our path. With that enfeebling cell in place, we're not like to be at our fighting best. And I was hardly an effective combatant to begin with. I've little to offer beyond my ethereal vision. Then you will be put to the talent. Then you will put that talent of yours to good use. You were fairly skilled at spotting weaknesses, if I recall. Fairly skilled. Now you've gone and raised everyone's ex expectations. You, uh, you all need to only make the most of your strength, and I will fill in the gaps as required. I was once a Zim, after all. Twas my job to rise up, uh, rise to the occasion, be as, as defender, aggressor, or healer. What did I just say? 
then I feel better about my lack of prowess already. And you, Amet Selk, you can impress us with your arcane majesty. You lob potent spells easily as breathing, but can but can also channel that power power to a product Yeah. In a proactive manner if you so choose, yes? Also fight her using three different class types, yeah. Eh, well, yes, should the situation call for it. DPS. Excellent, that should cover us on all fronts. Wait, does this mean like Hypho's either healer or tank? Uh, your tail, uh, your tail led us here, Morgan. It's only right that you lead us now. No matter what lies ahead, we'll win. Uh, we'll win through Hermes and win through to Hermes and Medion. And then we'll face the future together. Oh my god, I'm so fucking happy. I wonder how many people are doing, um... I think I've been not completely right. Is it not, not a DBS? I would assume that he's a black mage. From the moment we met you, our visit has evolved into a never-ending series of complications and irritations. In spite of this, I've gained one useful thing. Awareness to Dynamis. Dynamis. To think that a power with the potential to corrupt Aether had largely escaped our notice. Whether or not I believe your tale, the facts underpinning your narrative will be the source of much debate. So I understand that I act- So understand that I act not for the sake of you or your fana fantastical quest. My duty demands that I apprehend Medion, and if that means Hermes as well, then so be it. I said that Hermes was likely perched somewhere at the highest point of the facility, but reaching him will be no mean feat. To put simply, Kitta's Hyperbolea contains a multitude of vast spaces linked together with at the seams, meaning that the interior is far more massive than even this grand structure might otherwise suggest. I should finish this mouthful of food right quick. Um, but even a colossal facility till, till top to bottom with savage creatures will not stop you. Not with Vinat and Emmet Selk at your side. And I too will be there, of course, cheering you on. Bleak as the contents of Medion's report might be, the cult, many that I could hear it, many could hear it and remain content with their lives. But not Hermes. For him, the veneer of perfection has long been cracked and it was to that distant heavens they looked for the means to repair it. I understand his anguish after a fashion. My own refusal to return is in opposition to the world's established order. Yet for me, the imperfections only enhance the fragile beauty of our star. I will fight to see it delivered from, a, from destruction, warts and all. Oh! I close the DPS. Sir, what kind of oh, souls? Oh, bard. Oh. Yeah, after his cheering you on, I half thought dancer, but okay, bard. Hey. I met as a tank for you. Oh. What tank? You walked away. Paladin dancer, white mage. Yeah, with what we saw from the from the um, battle with her, that makes sense. Oh, Hythlo's bow is so fucking pretty.
Yeah, sounds sounds like a plan. Like I really just want to run at trust first, especially with these three being the ones that you run with trust. Yeah, especially with uh, two other people. Let's see if I ever pulled. I overpulled. Oh, nope. That was the wrong button. Why are all the paladin skills yellow? Can I ask for a different color here, game, please? Ping me when you're done? Okay. It might be a moment. Small poles. I love the music of this dungeon, though. I still hope that we meet the Azim that is us sometime soon. I still can't decide though if like we're massively changing the future or if we're just like causing everything to happen and like Azim was like you know this has to happen oh these are really cool enemies
I should probably look at the gear. Uh, well, no, if I get gear in this dungeon, hopefully I won't have to um, open any of the uh, coffers. Alright, well, first boss, let's go. How did they even... You need to figure out that tell. I do not know. I I don't know what they're seeing for the tell. I have no idea what the tell fucking is. Oh my god, he's a fucking nerd. Also immediately LBs. We'll do so. My way. I oh my god, he's such a fucking nerd. He's such a such a goddamn nerd. Why is he such a goddamn nerd? What is the tell? Oh, it's the footsteps. I'm actually so stupid. Out of my way. Need to find peace in the ethereal sea, and we mustn't tarry. Nope. Oh, no, that's a healing. Ah, ha, ha, why? No, oh, it's a hat. Wait, is this a hat that I can wear? Hold on. No! Why can't I wear the hat? 
what? Why, game? Why? Why is this still a thing with Viera? Why can't I wear the hat? Of all of the things, of all of the things, I don't understand. So I need to have, I, I honestly need to have both of these on. Which I need to check on my squadron sometime soon. Useless at all. Oh, my heart. I needed to check the second room just to make sure that I didn't miss any um, treasure coffers. Treasure coffer there and there. Okay, so I'm not missing it. I wasn't just tucked away in this corner either. Okay, no. Yeah, no coffers yet. I don't think. It'd be really frustrating if it was tucked around in this corner, but I don't want to miss anything. Okay, yeah, no, we're good, we're good, we're good. See if they sprint, they sprint too, right? Right. Ah, there it is. Okay. Oh. Ooh, that looks very cool. Okay, I'm, I'm super intrigued by what the potential glam of the scale of uh, this section is going to be. And we have Lorna Reed. Jelly, how you doing? Out of my way. Prepare yourself. Um, this is big spoiler warnings if you are interested in playing Endwalker.
According to Mr. Slissa, her creation is based on a concept for a bipedal wolf. It is, and indeed, it is impressively manlike in its gait. It, is, it would, it is also highly intelligent, as evidenced by its ability to employ tools, while the gleam in its eyes give the impression that it can comprehend words. You're fine, Fawn. Um, if this proves to be the case, it would be a shame that its throat isn't designed for speech. I must make mention of this in the next report. Okay, so we know where part of our beast tribes come from, at least. I am doing excellent. We are... God, we might actually finish Endwalker tonight if I get enough time out. We'll just have to see how long my phone stands. What's up, Ivan? I see you. Yeah, no, no, no. Like, if you're talking about the, the the lore book that we just got, God, there's so much. There's so many implications now to just everything. Yeah. Um. I, the only, actually, the only long queue I've had has been today. Like, we started playing 4 a.m. when it dropped, and, like, we had fewer people than I had today. Um, like, I think it took us maybe 20 minutes at the most to get in. Um, and then today it took me maybe half an hour. Um, but then I got up at, like, 6 a.m. Um, yesterday, or 7 a.m., and I was able to get in with, like, 20 people in front of me, which is less than a normal queue if I'm getting on during prime time. Way, just the one here. <laughs> You're fine, Fawn. Oh, 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 earrings offending, earrings offending. Oh, those are so cool. I wouldn't mind actually having that as an earring. The Q doesn't like me, so you gotta wait until the servers aren't happy. <laughs> aren't so heavy. Yeah. Just hopefully not too much longer. I forgot I need to do AoE first. Or not AoE, but um... I don't like this is called inhale, but... Okay. Actually... Probably just look at the VOD, yeah. I guess that seems fairly simple. Oh my lord, I met. Why are you like this? Okay, okay, okay. I get that. I get that. I get that. I get that. That's a neat mechanic. That is a neat mechanic. I want to do the orbs too. Like that he's following me. No, oh, I let that all wear off. Oh, 
So left, right, then... Nope. It's literally just sand right there. Okay. Out of my way. Okay, so it's not consistent. He can... Thank God I'm getting some gear this dungeon. Considering I got none the last dungeon, like, that was really frustrating. I mean, Fawn, let me level with you. If I thought that, I would ban you. Like, I don't keep company that I don't enjoy around. Or at least, like, that I can't tolerate. Okay, actually, I just thought about Hythlodius being a bard, and now it's just really fucking funny. Because that boy is gonna have so many people wanting to fuck him after this. Which apparently hates it when it, there's sound. Oh, that is a very unfortunate thing. How about you? Uh, I haven't. Hopefully, I haven't missed any more notes. Oh my God! This is beautiful. I fucking love this dungeon, holy fuck! I must hear their answers before they respond from existence. God, this in exposition makes me so fucking happy. This is such a good move.
Whoops. Have a taste. I see you, Lepidica. Have a taste. Flying life forms an introduction. The successful creation of migratory birds which travel between continents with the seasons came as a breath of fresh air to the long stagnant realm of flying life forms. In the end, it was a relatively simple thing to grant this creature the ability to navigate by celestial bodies, but this message method lacked the precision needed to guide them to the same location each time, which would be vital for, to their survival. The breakthrough came in the form of magnetic fields, the use of which was discovered by the incumbent Van Daniels during his tenure as chief overseer of Elpis, a truly inspired idea that has brought lasting beneficial benefits to the star. Oh, my heart hurts. Why? Fix it on Gustavus to transform. So it's as hard to make himself a villain. Such an ironic statement coming from you, Emmet. I did it again. Alright, so the edges are not good. I have a feeling he's going to have a pushback move. Unleash your power! Nope, oh, fuck. Yep, what did I say? What did I say? I'm Boo the Fool. I'm Boo the Fool. I'm Boo the Fool. Boo I am probably gonna die here. Nope. I'm not entirely useless. Stars on high. All is rain. This is called a dungeon. Oh, okay. I'm not entirely useless. Oh, are you fucking serious? I got out of that. Oh, uh, where's where the fuck did my interject go? So we need to be out of the way of this one. Oh, this is at the corner of all of them. Okay. Oh, let 
me in the middle. Dancing winds, pierce my glove. Finally, we have another fight where we can use Interject. There we go. We leveled. No. My power. Hermes. Also, I got to run a dungeon with two of my favorites. Hopefully he's calmed down a little. Hi, Flo. Hi, Flo. I could kiss you. I could fucking kiss you. You are amazing. Ah, uh, don't worry about it. Hold on. Uh, try on. Ooh, 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 I really want to see what the actual armor piece looks like. Uh, trail? Oh, the skirt's not bad. I'm angry about the hat. I'm angry about the hat, though. Okay. Um, I'm gonna run to the bathroom, and then I'm going to... Well, okay, we're gonna cutscene, bathroom, then I'm gonna grab people and gonna run this a second time. Hopefully I get the fending top. Hopefully I get the fending top. It's over, Hermes. In the name of the Convocation, I hereby take Meteon into custody. And setting aside the matter of your nomination, you will come with us too. We require your knowledge to assess and resolve the situation. <sighs> Meteon. I am so sorry for that I could have listened to your report in full. Reflected upon its meaning and conveyed it to others. That they might reconsider their chosen course. But I have failed. And that wish will never be realized. However, ere our fates become the province of others, I bid you tell me just one thing. Oh no. Was there happiness in those distant stars? Was there a reason for living? And this is why we need comprehensive mental health care. We conducted our search as per your instructions. 
we scoured historical records, communed with the spirits of the deceased, heard the final testaments of the dying, welcomed their shadowed hearts into our own. One race had striven to create a <gasps> bereft of animosity. They renounced relationships to avoid interpersonal strife, and in so doing, brought about societal collapse. One race had renounced war and devoted itself to the enrichment of its people. They were conquered. Though they destroyed the enemy in reprisal, they could not regain their former glory. One She's giving into despair. That finite time was the root of all woes. Aspiring to shatter its shackles, they went in search of infinity. They discovered nothing is infinite, and that neither time or death can be cheated. Disillusioned, they gave up on the future and themselves. One race had discarded all things that gave rise to sorrow, hoping to have only joy. They found joy lost its savor in the absence of sorrow and lost their will to live. The worlds apart, these peoples shared a belief. The belief that they had tried their best. That they had tried to fulfill their potential with every step and success. In the course of which, they learned the truth. That they would never be free of fear and sorrow, anger and despair, of loneliness, so long as they yet lived. Even now, their souls cry out for oblivion. And to this song of anguish, I lend my voice. We lend our voice. And it's going oh, to be the sound. Mankind, shimmering jewels of beautiful Etheris. Rejoice, for we will free you from the cruel yoke of existence. Okay, so she becomes the Eldritch Horror. There is no need to struggle in vain, for in nihility awaits salvation. You will know peace and serenity, and it will be beautiful. Well, I know we what our next trial our is. Nest at the edge of the universe, and there in the dark of dead worlds. Hold sorrow and suffering. There we will sing, our chorus ever louder and ever clearer, that our song may reach even this ether shrouded star. Such is the answer we have found in the stars. Such is the gift we now offer to Etheris. We live or die. Have you lost your mind? You heard what she said. She means to destroy us all, yet you still take her side? In the name of the star. We have discarded those creations that we deemed flawed. And now he's going to deem that we if are we flawed. We ourselves are yep. flawed. Does it not stand to reason that we too should be discarded? 
That is sophistry, and you know it. Perhaps it is. Perhaps I am wrong. Who is to say that you are right? Let us settle this with a determination. In my authority, as Chief Overseer of Elpis, I will make a judgment on man's fitness to exist. If he can learn to value all life and retain his will to live, even should his end be justified, he will surely find a way to avert his demise. If not, he will perish from the start. As with all determinations, provisions must be made to ensure fairness. Kairos, awaken! Memory reconfiguration system Kairos activated. Awaiting instruction. Command, universal memory alteration. Target area, Catesis Hyperborea. Starting point. Arrival of Emmet Cell. That's why. Propylion. End point. He wiped their memories of everything that we taught them. Raise the memories of all events. And replace with a vague recollection of the following. I was here. Preparing to demonstrate the functionality of Kairos to Emmet Selk and Hithodeus. Meteon's shared consciousness became unstable. She and her sisters could not sustain their existence, and all dissipated the burst. The resultant shockwave accidentally If Kairos, Kairos acts which like tempering, we will still war. remember. Also, I am Execute. fairly certain. Command acknowledged. Initializing. Three processes remaining to execute. There's 13 in that circle, and if we're. I'm not going to say anything. Bravo. I dare say one would be hard pressed to make it fairer. Everything that you told us, everything that has happened, the fact we've even met, it will all be gone. <sighs> oh my god. Go, Meteor. To the edge of the universe, where none can reach you. Hermes, won't you come with me? If you were to shed your flesh, I should be able to carry you. <laughs> I will remain. As a man, I will oppose the oblivion you bring. Silly fool. Had you said yes, I would have granted you the gentlest end. Um, fly, Meteon. That is far enough, Hermes. Argos, to me. We have to stop Kairos. Process complete. Two remaining to execution of memory reconfiguration. As if we needed more pressure. No matter what, you cannot forget what happened today. For it is the key to saving your future. Your world. This fight is our fight. 
What comes after? Our problem to contend with. Not yours. No. Your own struggle awaits. And no one else can take your place. You must flee this place with your memories intact. And I will see that you do. I fall. Now then, where is it? There you are, my little confluence. Very well, then. You may elude us this day, but not forever. Holy fuck. Meteon's gotten away. Second process complete. One remaining to execution. No. no time for brooding. Listen well. Beyond lies a spatial confluence that connects the interior sections of this building. I will destroy the confluence and force open a way outside. When I do, you must jump through. I cannot tell you how sorry I am. Neither can I let you escape. Don't you touch my hive wall. Oh my god. Hi bun. I throw you might better walk work quick, darling. Too brave by half. Exemplary work, as always, M itself. <laughs> but how? I thought the confluence was over. Over there. <sighs> yes, we were rather hoping you would. It was never anywhere but where it is now. The instant those two began making their way towards nothing, it was clear the plan was a diversion. I'm quite incapable of destroying a confluence, I must confess. <laughs> a gambit brazen beyond words. <laughs> Though we've grown accustomed <laughs> to reckless improvision due to the antics of an incorrigible associate. I'm gonna fucking cry! Though, I... in the case of certain present company, I incorrigible them so is an much. understatement. Honestly, I'm beginning to suspect it's a requirement for every asset. <laughs> There's no time! Quickly! Even now, I do not believe your tale. I would not suffer us to walk such a wretched path. Still, if it must be said. Do not squander it. The legacy I leave you. <laughs> Final process complete. Executing universal memory alteration. Of course, as him sets this up, just 
Of course they make it to where this has to happen exactly as it does. Of course they do. Damn it. I'm fine. Just a little tired. But a Matt and Hithlo, they won't remember. Can it be true? Of course, neither will. I mean, unless for some reason it doesn't work on Van Daniel, it Hermes will remember. Are we the only ones left who see beauty in the world? In life? Don't believe that. Are the stars above no more than husks of fallen civilizations? And yet, I feel her. Though she is unimaginably distant, I feel Meteon's presence. And the place where too we must go. Ere she made good her escape, I placed an enchantment upon her, one which allows us to follow her trail. She has already left the outermost bounds of Atheris and continues on her way. Given the vastness of the universe, it will still be no easy feat to track her down. But thanks to Emmet Selk and his Ladeus, all is not lost. We remember. We remember. <laughs> I, <laughs> fuck. So long as we remember, our fates remain ours to shape. What became of the others, I wonder? So what now? What indeed? Let us begin by ascertaining the situation at Ketesis Hyperborea, where the others should still be. Given the likely state of their memories, however, it would be imprudent for us to approach them directly. In which case... I'm sorry, my friend. I've asked much of you this day. But may I trouble you one last time? Oh. Argos will investigate in our stead. We will share in his consciousness and see and hear as if we were with him. Now, close your eyes. And open your mind. Thank goodness you are unharmed. Unharmed? There is a gaping hole in my memories. I can scarcely remember arriving here in Alpus. Forgive me. I was preparing to demonstrate the functionality of Kairos to our guests. But Meteon, her shared consciousness became unstable. And she... She... So, that's what prompted the state of alert. And when you went to investigate, you were caught in Kairos's accidental operation. So it would seem. It's all a blur to me. 
Such an unfortunate accident. Oh, and what of Vena and your other companion? You went inside together, as I recall. We did? If Venar was with us, I have no recollection of it. But that there is her familiar, is it not? The fellow seems happy enough, so I think it's safe to assume his mistress is well. I haven't the slightest notion who this other companion might be, however. Ah, well, that individual struck me as a bit different, for want of a better word. Perhaps it wasn't actually a person, but some manner of creation. Oh, hi, coffee. Curious. Yeah. I must ask Venara about it when next we meet. Yes, yes, you do that. Now, if we may tend to Hermes, whatever this Meteon did, it seems he bore the brunt of it. Once you are fit to travel, you will return with us to Amarot. We need to make certain there are no other ill effects. Also, I am here on business of the 14. We've already had the conversation, like as not, but since your toy wiped my memory, we'll have to have it again. Yes, of course, as you see fit. This Kairos, it manipulates memories through the emission of etheric waves, correct? There is a theory which holds that memories scoured by blasts of ether are restored when the soul is cleansed in the underworld. <gasps> that's why Hythlo can at least sort of remember us. And that's why... That's why our darling Hermes goes fucking insane. If true, then perhaps when our time comes to return to the star, we shall remember these few days we have lost. I doubt aught of interest occurred. Look forward to the revelation if you like, but I should prefer to reminisce on more meaningful moments. I am not okay, Valk. I am not okay. Let us rest. If only for a while. After all, you and I... Oh, we still have a long, long way to go. Oh, wait, okay, let me check my phone to see how we're doing on battery. It's not the direction I needed to go, is it? Uh, we're about half on battery, so we might actually... If all goes right, I might finish the... I might finish things tonight. Okay, let me... I'm gonna run through the bathroom. We're gonna grab Moon, and we're gonna grab Bun, and we're gonna run the dungeon again.
Okay, that took less time than expected. Ugh. Though I should probably stretch, now that I think about it. Oh, sorry, Coffee. I just realized that you said something. I'm so sorry. Uh, got your Red Mage. Nice. Red Mage is a lot of fun. I enjoy it a lot. A lot, 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 lot. Ugh, I will hydrate. I will hydrate between fucking crying over this game. Oof. Okay, headphones back on. There we go. <sighs> Gods be good. You're enjoying it more than Scholar? Oh, I can't blame you. Um, I love Scholar to pieces in concept. It is not great in actually playing it, at least personally. Are you feeling at all recovered? I understand that from our your exertions, you were more than purely physical. Resting, for resting one's body, if only for a moment, is never without merit. For Hermes, I think it is unlikely he will create more intellectis. He poured much of himself into uh, Medion, and now that she and her sisters are gone, dissipated in his mind, the grief must be unbearable. He will blame himself. He will believe that it, had he never acknowledged his dissatisfaction with the world, then the Medie would never have been born to suffer and die. The offer to join the 14 will be a welcome distraction, and one day, hence, he will face the advent of the final days in the role of Sven Daniel. Yep. Just everything that we just went through. <sighs> I wanna see. You can run it again in a scenario with them. You don't get them as avatars, do you? No. God, my heart hurts. I don't know if I should pick up the next mission yet. God, it really is! I... <laughs> Never have I been so utterly upset by doing everything right and still failing as miserably, like... It's meant nothing. It has meant everything and it's meant nothing. All at the same time. And fuck them for making a Met Selk Mr. Remember Us forget us! <laughs> I... I'm not okay. And I genuinely don't know if I'm ever going to be okay again with this game. I... Falcon. Thank you for being here. I greatly appreciate it. I hope that work treats you well. I can't even, like, find the words that I want to type this message in. <sighs> I 
Is the moon free yet? Moon is still in cutscene. Okay, we're gonna... Please don't be a cutscene. Morgan, listen to me. Our duty now is to is not to denounce Hermes for his misguided determination or to convince him at Selk and Hythlodius that they have been deceived. No, we must instead ensure that the experience Hermes sought to expunge are preserved. The experiences that Hermes sought to expunge are preserved. What remains in our memories alone will be our weapon against the final days. You must fight this battle in your age and I in mine. Come, let us walk together once more. I will see you to the doors of the proper Leon. Oh, I am being chased by a certain pastry. Where am I even going? This way. Okay, what am I even doing now? <laughs> Lord help. It's good, right? Yeah, no. No, no, no. That's one thing that I have to say. Ishikawa, she is a master of storytelling. And dear God, I don't, I don't, I, I don't know what she's got planned for the next 10 years, but I'm here for it. I'll get back to that in a minute, but I desperately need to repair my gear, and this is going to be the quickest way to do it. Um, this way. Oh, just a few seconds, just a few seconds, just a few seconds. It's not going to take long, it's not going to take long. stuff was fine why did they say anyways for seven days i mean that would mean something to me if i wasn't on the if i wasn't on the plan of um <sighs> am gay hi gay i'm sad also mom
This game has fucked me up. This game has just fucked me up. Completely. Fathers are coming so you can catch up. Oh, Yeah, we've also got a VOD channel where, um, hopefully everything will be uploaded, um... Please, turn back! Also, I might be forced to... Also, at least, fucking run. These are huge spoilers. Since we have a group that uses AoEs this time, maybe I can actually get through this. Um, it's actually... The worst dinner that you could possibly have. <laughs> well, I don't know. We actually have ten dinner twice in this expansion, which is really funny. There's story involved here. Like, this is the most lore-heavy dungeon that we've had so far. And now I'm just begging the game, I want the top, I want the top, I want the top, I want the top. Fuck the desire sensor. Come on. Yeah, um, I mean, it is, it is an amazing game, and this expansion is so, it has been so worth the wait and just everything, like, gods help me, if this had come out the, when they said that it was going to, I don't think I would have been able to handle it. Honestly, it takes a very, very good game to make you think about your place in the universe. I always misclick that or I fuck that up to where it's come on come on come on let me get this one off
I'm embarrassed by how long it took me to realize that like the, it shows his footprints in the snow. It's like the easiest mechanic that you can have for a fight like this, and it took me so long to figure it out. Also, I love Holy Sheltron. I love Holy Sheltron. It is the best thing in this game. Oh, I wonder if I can actually wear the um the helmet here. Or if Oh, that looks so cool. Hold on. I'm I'm actually not upset about being a bunny for this. Come on, I just need the chest piece. Come on, I just need the chest piece. Okay, yeah. Okay, no, our healer is on top of it, and I'm very sorry for me taking that much damage. Nope, I hollowed right after that. Oh well, it's fine. God, this headpiece is amazing. No, oh, well, I've already got one of those. Come on, game. I'm trying to remember, I think this is all that we've got here, actually. Alright, now I've got to work out the tells for this one. I 
Oh, no. There we go. Alright, what is the tell with who's gonna shoot first is my next question. Okay. How did I get hit? Wait, what? I just cannot tell, like... It's gonna be something really easy for him to, honestly, and I'm just, like, too stupid to figure it out. I can't remember if this is the one that gave you the second one or not. Nope. Yep. Oh. Why are my hands like this? So pretty up here. I must 
Clear their answers before they're expunged from existence. Hey Cosmic, how you doing? Vibin? Vibin's usually good. honest this next bit I thought that this was going to be a trial not not actually the last fight of this oh I love this headpiece so much like I will put up with being a bunny for it I don't know how many emotes on. I will have the time and tranquility I require. Oh, no. Trust and pray. Gather to me. Boob of the fault. God damn it. My Come on, get back up here. Really? Really? Stars on high. Fall is rain. On the side of this one, I I hate myself. Uh, you think I didn't just run this? They want to be right here. And that's going to go there. Oh, 
finally I don't get hit by something. <laughs> I don't get hit by the hardest one of the mechanics, but the first two I fuck up in, like, emphatically. Dancing winds! Pierce my throne! go. Uh, I got the bracelet. I get the player calm. All right. Wait, that must live, die, and fuck them for that. I'm so angry. check <sighs> but god this headpiece is neat i really i Somehow I'm going to crime the ears, though. Because, uh, I, I, mm, I really want to know what the actual top looks like now. Because with that, with that being the headpiece, like, I am desperate for the entire outfit. Like, this is a rare moment where I will actually put up with being, a, like, bunny girl for that headpiece until, like, crime things come along. That I can, like, replace it with my werewolf ears. Actually, no, I've lied. I, 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 mm. I love the headpiece, but I, I, mm, her not being Fox Girl bothers me a lot. If it was any other character that I was trying to play, like, I'd be fine with it. Which ears? Speaking of ears.
Yep, that was Mar Moon's first time through. Your time in this age is drawing to an end. Upon speaking to Vanat, several cutscenes will play in sequence. It is recommended that you set aside for sufficient time to view these scenes in their entirety. No, I need to... I need to disband party. <sighs> Just waiting for Bun to hit me with the popcorn. So, it is within. The portal that brought you hither and will take you home. Yeah, that's true. Oh, I hate that I can't see your expression. Oh no, hold on, hold on, hold on. I Perhaps I should stay and help. I'm gonna have to watch these back through with her uh, regular headpiece on. I appreciate your sentiment. I truly do. But tis a very long game that we must now play. And while you have maintained a stable presence here thus far, there are dangers in lingering over long. No. You must return to your own battlefield. Make use of the knowledge you have attained that your it days really here is. and our friend's sacrifice be not in vain. With Meteon free to pursue her designs, it is only a matter of time until the final days are upon us. I'm going to do this we number must be right ready. now. From fortifying our defenses to securing our escape, there is much to be done. In spite of this, we cannot allow the report that set this calamity in motion to become common knowledge. Were the masses to learn the fates of the other stars, I fear the situation would spiral out of our control. I must carefully consider who can be trusted and bring them into the fold. Ordinarily, I wouldn't hesitate to call upon the 14. However, it was the desire for a fair determination that drove Hermes to attempt to erase our memories. And were he made aware of his actions, there is no telling whether he would remain a friend or become a foe. Alternately, we might try to alienate him from the Convocation. Yet in doing so, we would deprive ourselves of a brilliant mind who would be invaluable in the crises to come. Quite the dilemma. Which is why I must work independently of the Convocation. Regardless of how we proceed, if we are to permanently avert the final days, we must be equal to Hermes's challenge. We must prove that mankind is worthy to exist. And this hinges, I think, on how we confront the all-consuming despair that accompanies a senseless and seemingly inevitable end. Bewildered and divided, we would perish like the peoples of those celestial ruins. We could not hope to survive the final days, much less take the battle to Meteon at her nest. We must find a way to defeat despair, to unite and prepare as many as possible for the struggle ahead. Heavy will weigh the burden of guiding this legion of souls. Yet I have faith in mankind's potential. As long as he believes in himself, there is naught he cannot achieve. So I will not give up on him. On us. You may find your world to be very different. Or perhaps the erasure of our friend's memories has sown the seeds of a conjunction between us. We cannot know until the moment is at hand. So shall I strive to do my best, 
taking naught for granted as I walk my path. And I pray you walk with me to the end. As you move forward, so too will I, as will all, resolved to fight for the morrow. And when mankind has found the strength to stand against despair, we shall silence the song of oblivion. She who sings it will learn our journey is far from over. This I promise. This is this headpiece just ruins this Fair whole scene. Well, I hate it. My light of the future. Till we meet again. From this day forth, I shall strive to bring honor to the seat of Bandana. I wonder how Moon feels that we were both right. So... That... Why are we here?! Why did we have to fall into this one?! Even now, I remember standing there, locked in a moment where the sky is aflame. Where stars fall as tears, and screams darken the seas. Where resignation rots the trees. Where terror twists magics into abominations. Such is the lament of they who have gone before. The song of they who tried and failed to create. Oh, a this song world. is giving me cold chills. The song of the end. which hides at the edge of the universe is no longer hope's creation. It is hopelessness incarnate. Matt knowing that that's the last time he's gonna see his best friend. That day, mankind saw half of its number sacrificed to bring forth Zodiac. And covering the star in a shroud of ether, we forestalled the final days.
Yet the cries echoed still. We wept for innocence lost, wailed for death inevitable. A reality too terrible to bear. And for too many, who sought comfort in gilded memories of joyful days and tranquil nights. Desperate group that summoned. This is all wrong. Why must we suffer? <sighs> oh, fuck. It needn't be like this. No. There must be a way to restore things to the way they were. To reclaim the perfect paradise we once had. No, my friends. Suffering exists. And we cannot pretend otherwise. Mm -hmm. No civilization, however great, could eliminate it. If we would live, we must accept it as our constant companion. Mm -hmm. Let us not seek to forget this tragedy. Let us carry it in our hearts, that we may grow stronger and know true happiness. We can't accept it! We won't accept it! It will be ours again! A world free of sorrow! No, it will not! For there has ever been sorrow. Mankind was but spared its biting sting for a time. So please, open your eyes to try and reclaim those lives we lost by sacrificing yet more isn't wisdom it is weakness no paradise is without its shadows if we cannot accept this truth and learn from our pain then our plight shall be repeated Zodiac, God born of our boundless faith, we bid you hear our prayer. <sighs> Accept this offering of lives and deliver unto us the lives we once had. Deliver unto us the days of old, the days when the star was a font of love. And we knew naught but bliss. You would destroy it, our beautiful world. Lands that stretched on forever. Skies one could drown in. The heartbeat of nature, silent yet strong. And amidst it all, a people. Beacons of light and life. Laughter that warmed my heart like naught else before. They are my meaning and my purpose, my love. In spite of, or perhaps because of this, I choose to believe in mankind's potential, in his ability to find a way forward. So let there be no way back. From that temptation, I sunder us. No more shall man have wings to bear him to paradise. 
Henceforth, he shall walk. Oh, boy. <sighs> she made the right choice. I hate to say it, she made the right fucking choice. All is excruciating pain. I breathe fire and torment. I birth a world of suffering to Maya. And Absolutely. And while this is probably the biggest moment of that, there are so there are so many moments in this game that make it so worth playing. In one fleeting moment, lives come and go. Ever moving towards the unknown. And in that fleeting moment, they cry for the answer to the question. Why? Why, given life, are they meant to suffer, to die? Because that is what it means to be alive. As fragmented, imperfect beings, Yours is a never-ending quest. A quest to find your purpose, knowing your end is assured. To find the strength to continue when all strength has left you. To find joy, even as darkness descends. And amidst deepest despair, light everlasting. Conjunction has begun to form, an intertwining of your time and mine. When you truly understand what is at stake, I am and your journey has prepared you to surmount the insurmountable. I am very much then enjoying it, and I am I not the okay. Made in another time, another age. I need water. Fuck. Oh my god. Oh, I am fucked up. Can I apply? I can't glamour plate here, I can glamour plate outside. God, I just want this hat to work with the fucking werewolf ears. <sighs> uh. 
I'm just not okay. Where the fuck do I even go about this in Annex? Um, sure. 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 What? I have the worst lump in my fucking throat. God, okay, more water, more water, more water. I'm halfway through 88, we're on quest. We're still on level 87 quest. Um, what fucking time is it again? It's 12.30. I've been streaming for almost 12 hours. Okay, yeah, no, we've got- We're finishing this tonight. No, wait, I can just travel. Duh. Oh, I ha- I- I have things that I can do. I forget that I have fucking retainers. Oh, wait, I just realized. My outfit's a spoiler, my outfit's a spoiler, my outfit's a spoiler. Um, where's my usual tank glam? God. Uh, what's up, Gar? sell items real quick while we're here. Um, am I keeping these? I mean, it's cute. I don't know why we shouldn't. Ooh, that sounds like a good idea. This is like fun. find a blush anything I mean you can do it through like Amazon and whatnot there are tons of guides on how to um, how to set up and work with that um, fuck okay Oh, those are very cool. Okay, um... God, I don't even know what I'm gonna level after, um... Can I even wear this? No, I can't. So that you could dye these. Wait, can you dye jet black? Oh no, it just makes them that again. Okay, um... Oh yeah, I want to keep this. Um...
gonna get um I right now I don't know if I can no know if I can say I'm having a fun time. I'm having a time. I'm having something. scene I am fucked I am completely fucked up and I don't know if I'm ever going to be okay again <laughs> I'm trying not to be dramatic but I am being very dramatic right now yeah yeah a little bit there's a reason why I'm sitting here and doing inventory things because I cannot even consider I can't consider going and doing anything else right now. I, I- I don't- I don't know how to process what I just watched and listened to for multiple reasons, and most of them are personal. Wait, I need to, to yes, please to send me yes, retire to my room. I need to, I need to repair things. I need to put things in my in my um my glamour dresser. Where is my glamour dresser? Um, alright, let me see. I need to sort. <sighs> am I keeping this? Yes, I am, because that looks so good and it'll look good for a bard glam. Um, can I, do I need to repair this? No, I don't. I don't need to repair you. Do I need to repair anything here that's going for... Um, okay. moved uh it's great yeah i'm i will be okay eventually i just really really need a moment um mm, that's pretty but i don't think i'm gonna make it any part of my Yeah, I don't think those are gonna be part of my yeah. <sighs> also, the panic of realizing that my the glam that I was wearing is complete fucking spoilers. Like, dear God, I was I that I me just casually coming into you know. I hope I didn't spoil anyone. I legitimately hope that I didn't fucking spoil anyone. <laughs> ah, it's the fending top. Actually, I should get the fending top. Oh, yeah. I forgot for a hot minute that anything existed. Except what I just went through. <laughs> yeah, we're still dealing with the final days here and the present. <sighs> I miss them already. Or again, impeccable timing as always. 
I'd heard you were off in the first as a part of our efforts to investigate the final days. Well, so is it so as so often seems to be the case while you're away, we've had some few developments, which we can discuss in a moment. For now, however, I cannot tell you how wonderful it is to have you back. Glad to be back. What what title is this? Uh Well, I guess I did complete Alexander five times now. <sighs> That'll be very, very neat. It looks like 550, 560 is going to be our max here, I think. So have you learned a lot more of the final days? Then the journey was well worth the risk. No doubt your newfound knowledge will be a great boon to us all. And this is, this starts Morgan's drinking arc. Unfortunately, during the, your time on the first, events here have taken a turn for the worst. The Scions are running themselves ragged, trying to contain the spread of blasphemies, but it's a losing battle. Try to ascertain... To try and ascertain the where and why of it, Alize and Alphano have been traveling all over. All of the reasons they visited, Locus Amenus is the, is the one of the worst affected. Thancred, Asinian, and Raha took a detachment of allied soldiers there to offer aid and succor to those in need. But the province is vast. They only managed to visit a handful of coastal villages. It was an accomplishment worth celebrating, but still a drop in the bucket at best. We're going to Corvos. You're going to Corvos. We're, we're going back to where Graha's grown up. I, or at least where he was born. I. Fuck. In the meantime, Tola and Master Matoya have been making a, con a concerted effort to establish contact with Hydaelyn in the Ethereal Sea, but to no avail. As for Tataru and I, we've been keeping a close eye on the forum. From what we gathered, they've been constructing a vessel to ferry people to the moon, an ambitious project that has likely been years, if not decades, in the making. However, since we have no sign of it thus far, I suspect it's still incomplete. Also, what use is it if it can- if we're going to be followed across space? There is no running from this. There is no safe star in the universe. There is no place that we cannot be reached. You recall the proposal issued by Master Fushno and the people at Razathan. Following their destruction, a discussion, Vitra declared his support for the plan and urged those who wish to evacuate to accept the forum's invitation. So far, so good, but that's where things get a little strange. Apparently, the forum caught wind of the lunar transporter and the Tower of Babel and decided to use it to deliver people to the moon instead of their mysterious ship. Which makes sense. Therefore, to secure passage for the Hunnish refugees to the tower, Alphano, Alize, Asinian, uh, and Graha traveled to Garlemald not long ago. Travel is the capital was hardly the safest place to begin with, and now... The final days have come to Garlemald. Xenos has only known emptiness and trying to look for more. If he is not one that gets turned, I will be amazed. I don't think that we're going to be fighting Xenos just as Xenos. I really don't think that we're going to. Or at least not Xenos containing the essence of fucking Zodiac. I think he's going to be even worse by the time that we get to him. Shortly after our friends arrived, they, st they were sent to rendezvous with Master Fortuno. Then panic broke out and our communications were severed. From what fragments we were able to make out, before the link shell went completely silent, we can only assume the phenomenon has spread to the capital. And considering the refugees there, 
The others need you, Morgan. Please, you must help them. Having you there will make all the difference, I'm sure of it. Camp Broken Glass was their first protocol, so you best start there. Hopefully, Lucia will know where they are. Oh, boy. God, I cannot wait to play through this and again and catch all of the multitude of little bits that I've missed here. There's no telling what you'll be walking into, so you best to take every possible precaution. Oh. I know that I peed before the dungeon, but it's been like over an hour since the fucking dungeon. to take a few minutes um i'm gonna run into the bathroom and <sighs> yeah yeah that's what we're doing i'll be right back God, I really hope that we have enough people on so that I can finish this game tonight because, dear God. <laughs> the thought of not finishing tonight is going to completely kill me. second here. <sighs> oh, give me to Camp Gorokin Glass, apparently. Did 
I even respond? I cannot remember. I'm just too far gone at this point. Oh boy. Oh! We have a solo instance with Lucia. Okay. Morgan, and not a moment too soon. The skies over Gollumaldar are ablaze, but it's the events on the ground that concern me. As you have heard, your fellow scions arrived ahead of you. We cut the customary greeting short after we received word from our troop that on on the Magna Glaciers that the Vorm's airship had landed. It was then that the heavens began to burn. I dispatched your friends at once to ensure the refugees came to no harm. I would have you join them immediately. Additional support is en route, but we will discuss that later. I trust you are ready to depart. Upon departing from the Magna Glacia, several cutscenes will play in sequences. Recommended the ah, more cutscenes. Issue. Yep. 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 Get me in. Earlier on the Magna Glacies. Days here in this blasted waste. Calm yourselves. Your panic is our greatest enemy. Come, we must build a line of defense. to us father you must lead the people to safety <laughs> my son him and a city fighting side by side to something that i have wanted to see for so long i can handle this pair you shall tend to the refugees. Let us be about it. <laughs> As you wish, my little lord. No, I... <sighs> I had to make it cute. I had to make it cute. Oh, I'm playing as Alpha No. Oh, no. Um, help is at hand. Okay. Nope. Stand. Come 
with me. Not more than turning. No, 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 no. You're safe now. Easy now. Deep breaths. Worry not for the refugees, but for yourself. Oh, fuck you, Dad. Heal myself a little bit. Uh, am I, Dad? Am I? I don't feel like I am. Oh, look, Asinian's actually doing mechanics. City is not a tank. go um sage is interesting if that's any indication though i didn't see any of the like actual mechanics no! that Someone they do please! what Didn't give him the spare. I could have sworn that he was be, be the afraid, one. But once. I thought that he was going to be the first to turn it all amigo. We can speak of it more later. For now, we must fight. To also, the thing that is also going to like 
or with better. Fuck me up entirely. It's just the fact that like. This is going to end on a hopeful note, even if it's bittersweet, and I am not going to be okay. Of that, I've no doubt. The gods of all possible saviors, the Imperial Army. <laughs> Look at my girl go! Look I at my girl go! Take all of them down at once. Think a withdrawal might be in order. Oh, sod that! You know who would never abandon these people to, <laughs> to be devoured by their former friends. That'd be beyond cruel. These beasts must fall here and now. The fact that she's bolstered well, just by the thought of us. I'd say it's high time we threw caution to the winds. Don't you dare. So long as you spare me the heroic sacrifices. Yes. No heroic sacrifices now, from go. either of you. Are we playing Gather Zay now? Yep. Now this class, I know at least a little bit. Oh, no. Love that they give us a limit break on LSA, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> Cut up. to worry about. Nope. 
I did that wrong, I did that wrong, I did that very wrong. Can I get a single Vert here off? There we go. As they say, turnabout's fair play. <laughs> I love that you get to live it, break his house. <laughs> There's not the barest trace of ether. Maybe there really is no way to bring them back. Thank you for saving our lives once again. I remember you, from Purusha. You helped us there too, didn't you? Ah, you're from Palaka Stand. I'm glad you're still in one piece. Or you will be, once I see to that injury of yours. Look out! You're not doing this to me, game. We are not losing my girl. I'm not using losing you either. I won't lose them. Not a one. This will be a brighter future. I won't let a madman's apocalypse ruin everything we've fought to achieve. up to our champion but we ask too much of her as it is you mustn't let Eorzea's hero fight alone speaking of I like how I'm just casually walking As if I wouldn't be sprinting at the sight of my kids. <laughs> this is precisely why you should never squip your squad regiment. <laughs> there is only one answer. There's only one acceptable answer here. her can i hug my daughter for once in my life everything's in order i trust In this battle, you will fight an army in Oh, it's such a simple, stupid little pleasure. Nope, nope. 
And I'm gonna mess up my combos immediately. Nia never getting my opener right. Name a better combo. Quite that much range on Holy. Or Holy Spirit, at least. Hmm. Oh, well, I stood too close. I had a feeling I'd find you here. We're getting to fight with all of them. Oh my god. Talk about things that want to make me cry. There we go. You must board without delay. The ship will depart ere long. Your offer to host us in Charlian is most appreciated. But will the final days not soon fall upon it as well? Your hesitation is not unwarranted. The Satrap entrusted me with your lives, yet I have failed your comrades. Nor are you wrong to fear that this corruption will continue to spread. I cannot promise you complete safety, even in my homeland. What I can promise 
is that I will do all in my power to protect you. That power is not inconsiderable. Even now, my countrymen are preparing the vessel that will deliver us to a sanctuary on the moon. Join us on our journey there and beyond to new horizons. Come to old Charlian, please. We would be fools to refuse such a generous offer made in earnest. Seems they've a new destination. The people of Radzat Han have known too much suffering. The march to Garlemald will only bring them more, short though it may be. I quite agree. Fortunately, they have you to look after them. Yes. Well. Behind you! Just there! Run, bitch! More of them. What? No, Xenos is forcibly yeah. added to your party. Or forcibly join. You'll be alright. Hurry to the airship. Why have you come? A heretofore unseen beast. Twas ripe for the slaying. I I'm sorry, but what the fuck is going on here? Poor sport alas. Unfit to temper my blade. You cannot still be on about a rematch. That is and has ever been my sole concern. You, on the other hand, are fixated on a different quarry. Your passion pales. Yet neither hate nor despair seems sufficient to recapture your misdirected bloodlust. So I hone my blade and I wait. That's it. That's all you care about. Garlemald is in ruins. Our homeland, the nation you rule, is as good as gone. Along with so many of its people. Not just soldiers like us. Not only those who fought and killed for power and duty. Innocent civilians. Murdered by their own flesh and blood. Lost and confused as they breathed their last. 
while we who survived with our lives and minds intact were left to freeze to death. The Eorzeans tell me all this was your doing. You slaughtered your countrymen. You did. For what? For nothing in the end. So much wasted effort. You. You bastard! Julius, don't do anything stupid. For your own sake, Julius, you must control your anger. It will serve no one should it consume you and see you transformed. <laughs> Would you be happier had I a good reason? What? If my motives met with your approval, would you no longer resent the outcome? If so, then perhaps a beast's skin would suit you better. <laughs> Duty, honor, morality. All constructs of convenience when put to proof. No? Surely the war taught you how easily power becomes the tool of the self-righteous. How the people's justice was merely a means to their ends. Yet you would ask me why. Ask any creature of this star and those above for answers. And they will tell you what suits their fancy. And they would be right to do so. What meaning there is to be found in the petty vicissitudes of your existence must be gleaned by you and you alone. Terrible news. The worst person you know has just made a valid point. Should you seek it in battle, in the fruitless pursuit of my demise, then come. Assume your rightful place as a notch on my blade. Jealous? Good, come on. Good boy. You Good boy. a blight on the Galian race, and there would be a satisfying way to expunge it than by beating you to death. But I will not be party to another tragedy. I refuse to lose anyone else because of you. Good boy, you're learning. So go. Go! And may we never suffer your madness again! Perhaps you found meaning in living this way. I cannot deny you found strength. Yet if you only pursue your hedonistic pleasures and pay no heed to the plight of others, then no one will give you the time of day. You will never get what you want, not even the battle you pine for so dearly. You'll be alone for an eternity, and you'll deserve every agonizing second of it. Mm -hmm.
We're ready to depart. The refugee ships will be leaving shortly, but I've asked mine to remain for the time being. There's room enough for you to join me on it, if you wish. Are we getting the olive branch? Do contain your surprise. I needn't agree with the Scion's methods or intentions to acknowledge that their deeds are deserving of gratitude. We appreciate the offer. But might I ask why you are delaying your departure? I presume it is not solely for our benefit. I must visit Garlemald ere uh, we return to Charlian. Having caused such an uproar, it is only meet that I explain myself to the Ilzabad contingent. Allow us to accompany you then. We should be glad to facilitate, given our familiarity with all concerned. If you would like to join as well, Eulus, we can speak of recent events on the way. I'm glad that Eulus has gotten his shit together. I'm I'm really glad. You'll be off to your seat on the forum next. <laughs> Stanian. <laughs> Couldn't even muster a little bit of a smile, you piece of shit. Can't, cannot. I'm... Honestly, honestly, if, Zen if that's how it all goes with Zenos, you know. Not with a roar, but with a, rim with a whimper. I'm actually happy with that. Because he is never going to get what he wants out of us. And if he has to, like, live with that for the rest of eternity. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Thank you for the follow. To see Zeno standing there so uncaring and unrepentant gods, I don't know what came over me. I just blurted out the first thing that came to mind, but looking back on it, I stand by those words i would say that i hope that they don't incite him to further villainy but to be honest i would doubt even he remembers what i said anyway good enough and anyway enough about all that it's good to see you again i am so happy to see my kids again <laughs> Didn't I just get a weapon coffer? Yes, I did. Okay, uh, 545? What are, what are my weapons currently at? 39? Yeah, it's worth it. Oh, must they be so weird and chunky? I can't even glamour plate here. Well, we're on to the level 88 quests. Although I suppose no, the last no one was 87. Injuries, then. Good. I briefed the recovered soldiers and sent them on their way as quickly as I could, but nevertheless feared they would not make it in time. I am hide waiting. Additional support was invaluable. Your men saved more than a few lives. Though not all, I regret to say. Well, we can't say everyone. That's just how it goes. I take it that I am addressing Lucia Junius. I am the forum's envoy, Fortuno Leveilleur. And you are owed an explanation for these most dire developments. I mean, we've kept her very abreast of the situation.
Another trial wrought by the final days. I was beginning to suspect as much. You doubtless feel some consternation having been forced to abandon your original plan. But trust me when I say you were right to send the refugees elsewhere. Beasts have been sighted within the capital. Perhaps it was a stroke of grim fortune that the population was decimated beforehand, as they've yet to appear in any great number, but in time. In any case, Maxima leads the remainder of the contingent in an effort to cull the creatures and evacuate the populace as we speak. Once the airships are taken to the skies, I pray your men can be persuaded to join him. You'll permit us to retain our weapons? I wouldn't have sent you after the Scions where I expecting you to stab them in the back. <laughs> and I, for one, would not consider past transgressions more relevant than future contributions. Mm -hmm. Regardless of the circumstances that saw us at odds before, we need men of courage now, more than ever. <laughs> the poor boy's in shock. We swore to defend Garlemald, and so we shall. It seems you have everything under control. You will excuse me then, for mine own duties await. A moment, Master Fortuno. You did desire to express your appreciation for services rendered, did you not? Did. <laughs> Though if you intend to again ask that Charlian alter its course, you will find my gratitude insufficient. Tis nothing so onerous. I wish to hear the details of this grand endeavor of yours. Do you swear to listen and to learn? and not to embark upon some scheme to impede us. I swear. Hmm. Any other I would doubt, but you I trust to keep your word. For not once have you broken it. Ah. Very well. I will request that the Forum make you privy to our plans. You may await our summons at the Baldessian Annex, assuming the decision is in your favor. Does that suffice? It does. You have my thanks. Aww. Excellent. You can regale us with tales of your most recent sojourn to the first one. Oh boy, I forgot that I haven't even told anybody about that yet. Me quietly. I'm gonna need a drink for it. Did you hear something just now? Um, what? Is sleeping way sleepwalking? Where, oh, where is this star's blasted pudding? <laughs> oh, pudding way, <laughs> you darling little rabbit! Um... So they got tired of waiting and came to us. Oh my god. Dawn 
may banish even the darkest. I are your shadows. Bring warmth and comfort. It is heartening to see such an assembly upon my return. I thought often of you whilst I looked down upon our star's brilliance from the moon above. Yes, but what are you doing here? And dressed like that? Aren't you cold? Freezing. Verily. I fear for my health should I proceed to expound upon our purpose ere I procure more suitable <laughs> God, I needed this. I needed this. <laughs> then allow me to summarize. We're here because none of you lot are up there. Nor has anyone deigned to send word about any changes in the plans. Yes, I'm leaving Ariane J freezing for this. It's food, is what it is. At least that's what I thought at first, but then folks got to wondering if you weren't in a spot of bother, so we decided to take matters into our own hands. Come down here and help, if our help be needed. I love them. I love them. They're awful little rabbit people, but I love them. So she says, but it's also something of a convenient excuse to visit a theorist. Oyanje made it sound absolutely marvelous. More so before the impending doom, but still. <laughs> no, I we know. And it's not like there will ever be a better time. What with the aforementioned doom? Marvelous, they say, yet not an ounce of pudding to be found. I must suffer Orianche's inferior works no more. <laughs> so Orianche can't cook. Nice to know. Hey, maybe consider the plight of present company before you go blathering on about pudding and doom. Hmm. As I was saying, should you require any assistance with whatever. We are at your disposal. We were born from Heidelin's love for the lives of this star. So naturally, we would much prefer to see them continue. Twiddling our thumbs up on the moon is hardly conducive to that, though, is it? Aye, not when you've all got such precious thoughts and feelings and hopes for the future deserving of more active preservation. Speaking to Oriange made us realize that while we've carried out our duties to the letter, we failed to fulfill them in spirit. Aww. Hold on. I, ah, well, fuck it. There we go. From there, it was just a hop, skip, and a jump towards resolving to do better. So please, show us how. Help us help you. Hmm. Forgive me, but are they? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, no. If the entire party is wiped, and you are the only in your tank on the field, and the boss is not at like five percent health, just fucking die. Also, I say go away. More spoilers. Thy distant collaborators, indeed. <laughs> that is not what he asked, and you know it, Orange. Hail, fellow. Well met. You'd be a member of the forum, would you? It's an honor and a pleasure to meet you at last. I'm Livingway, Hydlin's right paw. That last bit is very important. As am I, if I may humbly say so myself. I, uh, bid you welcome to our star, Livingway. On behalf of the Forum, 
I thank you for traveling such a distance to meet us. As you have surmised, preparations for the Exodus have not proceeded as smoothly as we had hoped. I should be happy to personally escort you to our headquarters in Charlian, where you may advise us as you deem fit. Twas with reluctance that I set aside the great work of readying the moon for habitation. Be assured that I did so only after the Loperids made plain their earnest desire to come hither, and I myself felt a growing certainty that their contributions here would prove invaluable. Mm -hmm. Tis trite, perhaps, but I followed my heart. Good on you! You make good decisions, Orange. Good to have a few back. <laughs> May thy disciples banish this darkest of nights. Good to have a few back. For a time, at least. Nevertheless, twas worth the journey to find present company well. Also, aren't you freezing to death? Will thou attend us at the forum and lend thine own wisdom? Oh, this is going to be at the forum. Oh, no. <laughs> Pretty way in the background. If that's all quite settled, can we start moving before Urianger catches his death? Even I'm freezing out here. Oh, I dare say you'll warm up quickly once you're aboard the airship. Sat shoulder to shoulder with our fur covered friends. And he looks at me when he says that. Yes, I know I'm rather fluffy. Bonks him with my tail. I dare say Master Fortuno is nonplussed as we learn the identity of Heidelin's lunar custodians, as he will soon discover they have much and more to offer the forum. Might I suggest we return to the annex forthwith? We, have, we may yet have time to discuss a recent adventure ere we are summoned to the Rostra. God damn, sorry. pick that up on a different character since it starts at 80 or on a different class god character no I really hope Aaron Bill's okay I'm quite worried about him Hopefully there are enough people like close enough to my um, point in the game that when we get to our next um, trial, people will be online to do it. Even though it is 1.40 a.m. East Coast. Please be voiced. <clears throat> I miss Tola. God damn it. Uh, not that I'm complaining, Ariange, but I wasn't expecting to see you quite so soon. Nor I thee. In extolling the virtues of Atheris, I did inadvertently awaken the Lopert's desire to avert our beloved to star's demise. Yes, good. Kryal tells us you have obtained new knowledge that may aid us in our ongoing efforts. I have news to share regarding our study of the Ethereal Sea, but your findings are, to, are certain to be of greater interest, so I would rather hear them first. What revelations did Heidelin's Elpis flower lead? Oh boy! <laughs> Loudly grabs the bottle of whiskey off the counter and like, okay, here we go. Where do I even start?
then dynamis is what drives the final days. And if Akasha, if it and Akasha are one of the same, this all but proves Naranha theory, Naranha's theory. Were it an entity through though sheer force of emotion, the channel is vast dormant reservoirs into a raging river. Its powerful might uh, surpass even that of Aether. But if our stars are replete with Aether, that entity would need to be outside of its influence to effectively manipulate the dynamis of the Great Expanse. Edeon. Or rather, the sorrow and suffering of fallen civilizations she has been hoarding for millennia. Untold anguish, fear, and hatred drawn from every corner of the universe, all of it for a single purpose, the destruction of Atheris. Then our foe is no longer some unknowable calamity. We have but one aim, to defeat Medion. You, made it sound, you make it sound so simple, but you're not wrong. Vanquish Medion and we deliver the world from the final days, but to even attempt it, there are two conditions. First, we must determine her location. Before Medion escaped, an enchantment was placed upon her by Vena, Vena the woman who would become Hydaelyn. The implications of the temporal magics are not entirely understood, and so we cannot assume that our Hydaelyn and Vanayumeld and Elpis are one and the same. Nevertheless, due to her intrinsic qualities and as an all-powerful being, I'd wager that Hydaelyn possesses the knowledge we seek. Whether she would share that knowledge with us, however, remains to be seen. After all, she intends for us to flee Atheris, not to, not, not to stay. That is not actually true. Do you suppose she abandoned her, um, her pursuit of Median? The Mana, the Mana I know would never give up. No, but Median is still out there. I can't believe that I went from like, oh, there's gotta be a way that Hydaelyn's the big bad at the end of all this, and now I'm like, no. No, Hydaelyn just wants to rest. That's my impression too. Otherwise, she wouldn't have used me as a conduit for her will or provided the clues such as the Elpis flower. I believe she has been waiting for mankind's answer to Hermes's question. Or Hermes' question. There shouldn't have been an S at the end of that, but anyways. So what's the second condition? We must find a means to reach Medion. Naturally, our chosen method will depend entirely upon wheresoever she has made her nest. Then commuting with Hydaelyn must, be necess must by necessity come first. Did you and Master Matoya have any luck in with your investigation into the Ethereal Sea? Sadly not. Though we enlisted the help of Arnvald and other Echo Blessed allies, we could not, um, we couldn't detect so much as a whisper from Hydaelyn, even from those, uh, even from within the Anti Tower. Master Matoya is of the opinion that in the years since abandoning it, the Forum must have had some other method of receiving instructions from Hydaelyn. If so, it would be, it would most likely be some form of apparatus for observing the Ethereal Sea built closer to home. Sorry to interrupt, but we've just received word from the forum. Your presence is required at the Rostra where they intend to discuss the Great Exodus. Then Father was able to persuade them. They're finally taking us seriously. Let's hear what they have to say. I have to say, a horde of rabbits might have helped with that. Oh my god. What if we just have bunny people in the world now that aren't Viera. After he left for Golemald, I went to Labyrinthos to try to reach Hydaelyn using the Elpis flower. Alas, my attempts were in vain. I can only assume that she spent a vast amount of her power to in the confrontation with Dan Daniel and is presently unable to communicate. Communicate. Indeed, her presence left my body. I could feel how faint it had grown. I hope you don't mind me staying behind while you attend your big, big meeting. The roster reminds me too much of the Char Supreme Scary Tribunal in Ishgard. You'll forgive me if I keep my distance. 
Last time Matoya has suspected for some time that the Forum has been constructing a new facility for the purpose of surveying the Ethereal Sea. Of course, as the custodian of the Anti Tower, which would presumably be rendered obsolete as a, res uh, obsolete as a result, she's she has a few things to say about that. Nothing that should be repeated in polite company, you understand? <laughs> of course she would. After sending Graha and Estenian back to Gullamold, I stayed in Loctis Amenos for a time. Being an imperial province, it was already in turmoil before the onset of the final days. You wouldn't believe the difficulties we had over, um, overseeing the evacuation of the villages we visited. I have faith that the detachment we left behind will continue our work and shepherd people to safety. To what safety can be found in the world in a world coming to an end? Also, let me see here. Um, party travel, Aether currents. We still have two places we haven't been yet. Also, I'm so close to being attuned on Elpis. It was Heidelin's commandment in the event that Odia's Zodiac should perish that the Lopperts were to deliver the people of Atheris from harm. Though that be the limit of their duties, they possess knowledge unparalleled of the great expanse and the means of its traversal. Should they be persuaded to assist in our efforts to meet um, Medion, we would do well to heed their counsel. I wonder if we're going to use the moon to get to Medion. That would be interesting. Um, Father has granted us the opportunity we've been waiting for. Though we know not what, the, what information, if any, they intend to reveal, there's only one way to find out. To the Rostra. Well, that was a much quicker response than I was expecting. Nice to know that our efforts on the Magna Glaces didn't go unnoticed. To think the Crystal Tower of the First capable of such feats of sending one's soul into the distant past. The events you witness and help shape may hold the key to forestalling the final days. I'm reminded of dear friends in a future I unmade, whose selfless efforts saw the Eighth Emperor Calamity averted. In this timeline, at least, too much has been sacrificed for us to abandon Aetherus now. At first, I wasn't so sure. I wasn't sure what to make of Hermes and his motives, but it's like we discussed at the great work. When faced with harsh realities of life, some seek the release of death; others grow defiant. They fight. Either way, it is our right to choose. Poignant. Also, um, can I camera plate here? God. Fine. I have to be out in the main hall. I really need to glamour the sword too. Hold on. My new baby. I, I dearly love this sword. Alright, to the Rostra. Forum is in session, and as such, the Rostra is closed to visitors. The Scion of Seventh Dawn? Very well, you may wait in the corridor. Of course, entry will only be permitted on the condition that you leave your armaments at the door, lest you forget this is a sacred institute. This sacred institution holds rational discourse and the highest. Implements of war are expressly forbidden. Very loudly, uh, don't, you know, don't murder anyone. That bun had a really cute top on. Dark Knight, Gunbreaker... I have no idea what class you are. Yet again. There is a matter I wish to raise with you before we enter. I always take my ears off. 
We are here to listen and to learn. But if the Forum's plans are more or less what I expect, then I should like to make a proposal that will serve our ends. By your leave, of course. We trust you, Alfie. I don't see why not. Your words and wits have gotten us this far. Agreed. I will present our queries so that you may consider the most advantageous way to advance your proposal without distraction. Thank you, everyone. If I may have your attention, the ad hoc session will now commence. Bunny boy! The purpose of today's assembly is to brief the Scions of the Seventh Dawn at their request on the Great Exodus. You may enter. Pryl doesn't have her hood off. Now I'm going to be very upset. Why is she allowed to have her hood up, but I can't have my ears on? On behalf of the Forum, I commend your heroic actions on the Magna Glacies. We shall not soon forget your service to us. And the people of Radzat Han. The Satrap, whom we have informed of the refugees' new arrangements, sings your praises as well. As an expression of our gratitude, we will endeavor to answer your questions as fully and openly as we are able. Then let us begin. First, it is the Forum's objective to ferry the life and knowledge of this star to the Moon. Am I correct? You are. It is for this purpose that Charlian has labored these many long years. We have collected biological samples and scientific records from across the star. When the time comes, they will be moved from their places in Labyrinthos and Numenon and conveyed to safety. Once that critical task has been accomplished, we will begin transporting the Charlian citizenry, which has been categorized into groups. The earliest arrivals are to ensure hospitable environs for those who come after. Following our people, we will send those of other nations in turn, beginning with our allies. Radzat Han was foremost among these. But since the final days have already come to Thavnair, we saw fit to include the refugees with earlier groupings. An ambitious plan. You have accounted for the safety of all nations and tribes then? As many as we can. And how, pray tell, do you decide who to leave behind? She has a point. To journey beyond the sky is an unprecedented and immeasurably difficult endeavor. Introducing sources of inevitable conflict would condemn all to certain death. People Questions have conflicts. As to the validity of that approach aside, are your plans proceeding apace? We're under the impression that your primary means of celestial transportation is incomplete. If only in that it does not meet our optimal parameters, that is correct. This arc, as some have taken to calling it, is fully operational and could be launched even today. However, the final days have progressed more quickly than we anticipated. At present, the ship is incapable of attaining speeds sufficient to meet our evacuation targets. 
Hmm. Should we put the vessel into service as it is now, we will be unable to travel to the moon and back quickly enough to complete the necessary number of trips. Precious lives and knowledge will be lost. Seven hells. Is there anything to be done? The ether burner. The primary means of propulsion once the craft is in the space. Oh, Alan, oh, please, I'm so sorry. Determine whether it can be made more efficient. Though cargo is being loaded for the initial phase of the Exodus, we are prepared to continue our experimentation up to the day before launch, should it prove necessary. What if the Scions were to solve your problem? We shall help devise a means to improve the ether burner's efficiency on two conditions. If we succeed, you must allow us to meet with Hydaelyn. It was simple enough to deduce. You have a Concord, and he would never have abandoned the Anti Tower had you no other means of communication. Mm hmm. One far more convenient. I suspect. They have no secrets left. The second condition, also to be met upon our success, is that we be permitted to propose another use for your Ark. We would be at liberty to refuse this proposal. Of course, if we cannot prove its merit to the 99 here, who are we to stake on it the lives of all peoples of this star? <laughs> Get a mouthy. <laughs> Delightful as always. God, I love Monty so much. <laughs> oh, we couldn't have asked for a finer plan. Allow us to solve this complex engineering problem of which we were entirely unaware until moments ago. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> the satire writes itself. I mean, to be fair, we'll figure it out because that's just what the science fucking do. <laughs> Yet, what field has not benefited from a change in perspective? When we are at wit's end, what we need is not the same dry theories recited ad nauseam, but fresh inspiration. Yes, I love Monty. I, for one, have faith in my erstwhile students to provide it, and I find their terms to be perfectly acceptable. Order! Order! We have no time to waste on debate. I call a vote. All in favor of agreeing to the Scion's terms? Like, they literally have nothing to lose. Seventy-one in favor, twenty-eight against. The eyes have it. Fortuno, as the architect of this project, you are the best candidate to show them its current state. And bear in mind that regardless of your personal misgivings, this is the will of the Forum. <laughs> oh my gosh, telling them, uh... You you gotta you gotta do this, bud, even if you don't want to. Very well. I call this session to a close. Return to your tasks with urgency. The final days wait for none. 
Well, yeah, I mean, it didn't skip things. It took me a little while. Not to mention there's so much good dialogue. God, I could have spent 20 years just sitting and talking with Amet and then Vinat. And of course, our dialing high flow. Like, dear God, so much of the information that I got out of talking to them was so, so very worth it. You've been AFK? Still. My affinity for espionage may have earned me the title of Archon, but I was completely unaware of the forum's plans. There might be clues here and there, but I had a mind if I had a mind to look for him, or had I been of mind to look for him. Contemplating that possibility only serves to further wound my pride. Not any not that anyone could have realistic surmised the year. brilliant stratagem was to build a giant ship, fly to the moon, a still larger vessel in truth, and then use that to travel to another star. Even now the whole idea seems positively absurd when spoken out loud. Hi, caveman. I mean, if I can find people that are doing the trials that are going to be coming up, I'm absolutely finishing the expansion tonight. There's no way I can sleep. Oh, well, perhaps if Midgard Summer was- wait. Oh, dear f- Estenian, do not scare me like that! Perhaps if Midgard Summer were still alive in the traditional sense, that is, he could have offered to help the vessel attain the necessary speeds. Then again, there's no guarantee his contribution would make enough of a difference to matter. Of late, I have seen no sign of the Lopperitz. This being their first opportunity to explore and the wonders of Charlian, the potential for misadventure is nigh infinite. Uh, vaguely. We're in the level 88 quest currently, which means that there is two levels. Two levels of quests to be done. Uh, phew. I'll admit, bringing up the issue to the forum's incomplete arc was more than a little daunting. They were, to their credit, quite open about the current state of affairs. What was even more surprising, though, was that they took Alphano on his, up on his offer. I'm a little vexed to learn that we've yet to learn of the forum's replacement for the anti-tower, though... I expect um, that in time they'll share that with us too, and with Master Motoya if they have any sense. The further, uh, the further, further we pursue the mass mysteries of the universe, the more I struggle to comprehend the fortuitous nature of time itself. We measure and quantify it based on the observation of celestial bodies such as the sun and the moon, but from your account, um, it is unclear whether the ancients viewed time in a similar manner. I mention this because while Vana knew the final days would occur at a defined point in the future, she presumably had no way of knowing when exactly when. Even so, the completion of the forum's preparations to escape uh, to the moon aligning so closely with the event of the final days is surely no coincidence. Yep. But now was amazing. Sorry about not letting the rest of you in on my plan. I was admittedly thinking on my feet for the most part. But since we require both the means of communicating with Hydaelyn and reaching um, Medion, and the spur of the moment I saw involving ourselves with the completion of the Ark, a way to both work towards both objectives simultaneously. However, we must first keep our end of the bargain by solving the problem of the Aether Burner. I'd like to think that this is not a challenge beyond our com combined expertise, or at least the expertise of our extended circle of associates. It might behoove us to learn how an Aether Burner actually works before we attempt to improve it, though. <sighs> oh, I'm just waiting for Alize to just fill it with more Aether. Part of me is like, maybe I should go back and run that dungeon one more time in order to get the chess piece piece game. I don't want to have to open it. Um, as instructed, I shall take you to see the Aether Burner. Meet me outside the um, Archeon. I trust you can make your own way there. Uh, so the Ark is being built in Labyrinthos. Hardly surprising. Where else could they conceal such a magic, massive undertaking? Actually, I'm gonna pee, and then I'm gonna come back and see if we can run the, um, the last dungeon one more time. Because, like I said, I really want that chest piece.
Yeah, it is 2 a.m. 2.09 exactly. That was an NCQ. Let's go. It's 11 p.m. where you're at? Okay, so you are West Coast then. Love the music here. Mm. It might give me the body or the chest piece, maybe necklace, maybe another ring. 7 a.m. Oh my gosh. Yeah, at least. Thank you to spies. Did you get them in your next instance? Or did they get a piece that you wanted? Yeah. Like, there's no reason. If you if the rest of your group is dead, like, if it's okay, it's okay if, like, your DPS are dead, you know? Because then there's a possibility that you can, you know, make it out of it. I'm just going to take it a little bit slower because it seems to be a little bit rough on our Esther right now. After this, Lycos is down though. Alright. Excuse me. Warrior reminded you never to solo a boss. I mean, war is the one that is closest to being able to solo a boss, I will say. But it's not necessarily a good idea. Like, um, kind of for shits and giggles, um, or not really for shits and giggles, um, Moon um, ended up soloing um, one of these, a boss that we had gotten like two thirds of the way down. 
um, while we were trying to finish up the um, Four Lords quest. And it just legitimately just made our lives easier to go through the process with it. Um, of him, you know, just finishing off the boss instead of us respawning and getting him all the way down to that point again. But it's not your first... It's not your first option, you know? Let me get this off. And the fact that I see that the dot stays on. Can I actually, can I? Nope. Oh my gosh. You know, it's just not that hard. It's just not that hard not to be a dick, you know? Mask of Mamie, I want it. Although, um, that's gonna go to our our DPS, I know, which is fine.
All right, Elise, understandable. But I, like, you're right to be upset about that. back from lurk and work well i hope that work went well I'm actually getting like very, very comfortable with using the um, magic AOE com or the magic combo, and I'm really, really proud of that. need to watch him very carefully here. Okay, so it's gonna be left, then right. Okay. Okay, never mind. I, I know his cells now. I know this fight. I know this fight. I know this fight. I'm so fucking proud. I know this fight. Should be left and right again. Nope, I was wrong. I was wrong. I was wrong. God damn it. I didn't watch him closely enough at first. I was too concerned with my, uh, Should be going for Okay, left the mid. Or right the mid.
mid than right. when I start learning fights. That's like the best thing about this game. I cannot let you take me to Not yet. I keep forgetting that with, um... It's it with Paladin I can use um arm's length judiciously. I can't do that with um war because one of the skills with war is to be able to basically say fuck you, hit me and I hit you back, you know? Um yeah, okay. feeling on that second boss they might end up having to make the um the tells more um obvious because i don't think that it is very obvious um to anyone but the tank and then you have to make sure that your tank is staying on top of it basically slap fight with the boss 100 percent about a slap fight with the boss which is how i like it anyways although um if you haven't watched, um... If you haven't watched Joe, um, Joe Cat's video about, um... Toki, thank you so much for the raid! Big warning, these are huge, huge, huge Endwalker spoilers. So if you don't want to be, um, spoiled for anything in Endwalker, you might want to go ahead and head out. But, um, anybody who wants to stick around, grab your hands! CC emotes are here. Hey, let's go. Thank you for the follow. Um, I will also warn we're also on a um, two day follower mode uh, or two hour follower mode, not two day. Um, just because people be dicks about spoiling video games. How you doing though, Toki? You don't know shit about this game? Understandable. Enjoy the um, very pretty effects of my attacks. In the hopefully not dying to anything. You see it all. It, it's so good. Joe Cat just makes amazing videos. Stream was fun. What were you playing? I, I really like their How to Be a DM video, um, like, legitimately. Got some of the most incredible DMs, um, to, like, to, like, just come in and, like, help with that. Genshin and Castlevania Randomizer. Um, the new one or one of the older games? Other ones, Aria Solaros. Okay. I have not played any of the Castlevania games, so I know that they are very well loved for very good reasons. Yeet. Nope. No, oh, earrings of slaying. Oh. 
Oh, invite Smash Smash to join just to tell him to shut up, right? Like, what? Just, what a madman. Please, RNG gods, I want the fending top. Please, please, I need the fending top. That is what I need here. Didn't get hit by that. Let's fucking go. Stars on high. War is rain. Okay. Stand on this side. Oh no. Let's see, can I jump off the edge here? seen this attack yet. Really? I will admit, this is making me feel a little bit better about my ah, uh, with like how bad I was messing up everything earlier. Double up on this. Come on. 
stars on high. Fool is rain. See, so here first. Then this side, this side, this side. Here we go. combo too quickly. I do love that this is a little bit more than just tank stands in one place. Because when it's just tank stands in one place, it does get a little bit like, oh well, I don't get to do mechanics, but I'm loving that I get to do mechanics here. Finish us now. top for me upsetty all right ah, i got player comms i'll take that all right well i guess we're opening the box since i can't get the shirt actually actually i might have um no i didn't <sighs> what did i even get from that then Oh, I got the sword! Oh, that is cool. That means I got the shield too, right? Oh, those are so cool. Oh, my hair thinks something. <laughs> Health reminder, yay. Appreciate it. Um, let's see. Actually, don't I have something for... No, I don't. Do I? Why is that still in my inventory? 
brain are we good we've had those for so long why are we why i don't have any healers that will ever be at six uh like below anyways These pants. <gasps> Ooh, the pants. I'm, I'm just gonna have to end up farming that dungeon a ton. There's too much good gear out of it. I'm almost 89. Alright, fine. Give me the give me the shirt. Give me the fucking shirt. Coffer. Let's see. 539. 539. Didn't I get one? Didn't I get a coffer? Oh, not yet. It must be at the end of this. Yeah. Badly as I don't want it. I still can't believe that we have two more locations. I like how to use this Aetherite. You're dunked in water. Like, watch your dirty fucking feet. No excuses. <laughs> Look at everybody just like in neat little rows. Uh, Alright, thank God. Some would surely object to the forums allowing foreign elements to have a run- the run of their secret facilities. We should count ourselves lucky. Among the many and varied documents sent to the moon, I did chance upon several uh, inventories made in the Archeon. Mayhap the forum believed such records would provide insight to the intricacies of clerical duties. Regardless, the Lopperts did not consider them worthy of more than a cursory glance. That we have been granted permission to enter the lower levels is proof of our increased standing. Whether they have been willing to confide in us sooner. Right, Tola? Um... But no, our great work. Do they intend to carry everything in the Archeon to the moon? They said that they'd start loading scientific records and biological samples, but do they really need all of it? I mean, they're intending to recreate things, so... Did I talk to Urian Shay? Yes, I did. It seems so long ago that we first set foot here. I say, why is your sword out? Is the next question. Um, where once we refu were refused entry, we are now welcomed as guests. Oh no, her sword isn't out. I'm just like... Anyways, I'm tired. I don't understand the appeal of reshaping it to look like the world above. Make your peace with what it is, or go outside if that's what you prefer. It's in the end. You don't understand. It has been many moons since I last visited Labyrinthos. As vast as the archives were back then, they've only continued to grow in the days since. And now we talk to the worst of everyone, Fortuno. Our destination lies in the lower levels. The forum, in its wisdom, has granted you access to the Ar Archeon's lift. Step inside and have Ol Olafian take you to the medical medical circuit. Where's Aaronville? I want my bunny boy back. Okay, the little portal thing with um. With Reaper is pretty neat. In accordance with the Exodus Protocol, the access to the Archeon is, and its related services have been suspended indefinitely. Your cooperation and understanding is, is appreciated. What? You wish to right use the lift, yes? Is this going to be a completely different instance? No, it's still just the same area here. Cool. The music here, though, is really lovely. Speak with Fortuno again. Actually, I stopped scratching my chin, apparently. I have sent your associates ahead to Logiston Alpha on the other side of uh, Merrill Ergonomics. Oh, shit. Sorry. Um, actually, there is something I've been meaning to... No, never mind. It can wait. Let us attend to the matter at hand. What were you going to say? 
I've parented your kids better than you have? Actually... East. This way. It's up on the ridge, isn't it? And like tucked back in this corner. Southeast. Okay, so I do need to go up and over. It's beautiful down here. Until you start getting stuck on rocks. God, it's it's been so long since we've been here. At least like in the abstract. In truth, it was two days ago. And it still feels like it's been forever. I'm so very confused. Where the fuck is this aether current? Is it up on the ridge? It's up on the ridge, that motherfucker! Fine, I'll go get it later. Mm. Break my poor chocobo's ankles. Poor Etienne, he puts up with so much. Eek. God, this place is beautiful, even with the simulated sky. No, leave me alone. Wait, right, hold on. Where is this? There's gotta be at least one Aether Current that I can get without too much trouble, I swear. Northeast. So up on the ridge. Or in the cave, but I don't think in the cave. Northeast. No. Wait, is it not on this ridge? Are you. Hello? Is it in the. It must be in the cave. That one has to be in the cave. You have coffee and a cat? Nice.
northeast. Did I just walk past this one because I was so like... Yep, yep, I just walked past that one. On our first time through here. God, it's going to take me so long to get all the Aether Currents here. Northwest. Well, we're going to continue the story first. Now we will get to see what this gigantic building holds. I'm not allowed to get tired. No. I want to finish the story today. I mean, at worst, we finish it tomorrow, but I want to finish it today. We are to wait here while our father arranges for us to use the lift next. Here, being Logix Logixton Alpha, where the atmospheric conditions of Labyrinthos are regulated. I know. Water is drawn from the underground and disperses vapor, simulating the formation of artificial clouds and rain. Um... Actually, battery's doing fine tonight. Yeah, we're over half. I just swapping to um, 30 FPS um, uh, three days in a row, caveman. We started this on Friday. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. That's three of them. And I mean, yesterday, the first was only 12? No, it wasn't. No, no, no. The first was 14 to 15. The second was 18. I will I will stop right this second and check my fucking VODs. Yep, 14 hours, 17 minutes, then 18 minutes, 18 hours and 57 minutes, and this is 13 hours and 57 minutes. Like... I'm really, really hoping that, um... That Friday's VOD also went up on YouTube. Um, I tried exporting it. Actually, let me take a look at that. Because my channel... I had an issue where my channel got taken down. Uh, well, not taken down, but it got, um... Okay, good. It t channel doesn't have any content. That's fine. Um... But I do need to actually take a second here. Let's see one thing. Yep. Yep, 46 hours in the past 72. I have legitimately woken up, streamed until I passed out, passed out, woken up and started to stream again. Like, I cannot express how much I am enjoying this game. Let's see, content. Yep. Video's too long? What? Can I not have long videos? Oh my god. Verified accounts can have videos longer than 15 minutes. Um, fine. Okay. 
Give me a second. Fucking pain in the ass, YouTube. Water, okay. Uh, by manipulating the temperature and air circulation, they are able to create an ideal environment for growth and preservation of the biological samples kept here. Okay, so now we should have the first VOD up. Slip the VOD into 15 minute chunks. I mean, no, I don't want to do that. Okay, I'm going to delete this one. Oh, they have to like release them in two parts anyways. Okay, so if I... Can I retry that? I know, right? And I have to restart the whole process. What the fuck? Um, no, I want to. More actions, delete forever. Yes, I know that. I... Today on, we take five minutes to figure out my uh, YouTube issues so that I can upload VODs. Where is this? All right, let's try to export this. Oh, I had a I had a title and description and everything. Um, okay. <sighs> Hold on, how do you know so much about it? Why, father brought me here as a child. What, and left me behind? Actually, you're the one who left me behind when you went off somewhere with grandfather. The night before, I had been asking Father how clouds were made, so he decided to show me. It was fascinating. I peppered him with questions the entire time. Oh, Alfie. Tis all too easy to take for granted the many interweaving aspects of the natural world to grow in inured to the wonders. But having gained an understanding of the complex mechanism employed by the Luperitz but in recreating a similar environment, I have come to view such processes as a new light. The subterranean gardens of Labyrinthos, the lunar prison forged to contain the ancient zodiac, the habitations built for all mankind neath the moon's surface, each unique yet undeniably similar. Just no mere coincidence. Ever since Heidelin unfolded to us the grim fate that awaits at Theris, every essential resource that we could spare has been delivered to Labyrinthos in preparation for the great exodus. But that is not all. It was also the testing ground for technologies that will allow us to settle on distant stars. Though the Loprits have endeavored to make the moon in inhabitable, it is not our final destination. Mankind must learn to propagate life where there is none, to thrive where all is barren. Alas, time is not on our side. I have arranged for you all to enter the central circuit, the, uh, and it is there that most of our preparations for the great exodus are carried out, the construction of the Ark among them. Though our plans have not been made public, access remains highly restricted. You, however, will not be subjected to said restriction, and will have free reign to come and go as you please. Such, is the, such was the will of the Forum, after all. We will provide ourselves worthy of their trust, your trust.
Could you look anything other than annoyed at your own son, you absolute dickwaddle? I swear to God. Now let us proceed. All right, Hester, let me in. By decree of the form, the signs of the Seven Dawn are permitted to enter the Central Circuit. Hey, hey, hey I made money. Just, God, this place is amazing. The Aether Burner is being constructed not far from here. I haven't. Overseeing the work is Kokol Dunkol, after whom the forge is named. Once the necessary introductions have been made, I shall leave you with him to discuss the particulars. This way. I don't doubt it. I mean, I thoroughly enjoyed um, Into the Spider-Verse, um, even though I uh, watched that movie with my ex. It was a really fun time, so like, I'm hoping that they're doing more fun stuff with the Spider-Man IP. And not just like, going like, oh, we had one big su success with a, you know, interesting story, and then like, let's never do that again. Because unfortunately, there are some things that do that I re I I can't wait until we get in there because I am certain I am certain we're going there soon so looking to spider-verse mm-hmm Um, although I think I did see one little tidbit where it was showing an older Miles Morales, which, thank god they're keeping him in. Um, let's see... Uh... See if I can get that exported this time. Uh, the animation style of the first movie was so good. Mm-hmm. Looks less than thought, although he seems he's hit something of a stumbling block. Makes sense. Surely the forum hath already petitioned the aid of the Loperts, given their familiarity with such technologies. While many of the facilities within the central circuit seem to be visible from the upper levels, the more secretive work must be carried out behind closed doors. I have to see how far how they push it further in the sequels definitely like that's one thing i'd love about like the way that they timed things and did the animation style and like really embraced like making um miles look a little bit awkward by running him at a lower frame rate and then speeding it up to when he started getting his stride it was like such a cool bit of technology that like i don't think people really like if they didn't understand it they didn't respect it and it's like there's so much that can be done with animation that's not making it run at a smooth 60 frames per second which doesn't even look good anyways especially like with all the extra work like 24 frames per second is more than enough it is way more than enough to have that working properly but some people are just obsessed with more frame rate like yes more frame rate helps you in a video game it doesn't do anything for a movie Noodle made a very- I- that's the exact movie that I- that's the exact video I'm talking about! <laughs> Noodle is such a gem. Like, I love their work. I love it to pieces. Um, let's see... Get- get- get to put the banquet- banquet first. Um, even a, for even a close to garage secret, you can see practically everything from outside, even with the magical barrier surrounding it. Perhaps you'd like to break the ice? 
Is he talking to himself? It's a good... This is a movie, not a video game? Mm-hmm. Which, that Noodle did all... Like, Noodle did a whole really good video on it, and I, like, highly recommend, like, watching it. Um, even just, like, get a greater appreciation of some of the stuff that goes on in animation and the way... And the thought process behind it and things like that. Like, I just dearly, dearly loved the video that they put out. James Baxter commented on the video agreeing with them. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I believe that it was in one of the videos, like, very quickly after that one, that Noodle was like, James Baxter replied to it. It was so cute. <laughs> back home from work. Welcome back, Shiro. This is the man we seek. Do not try to, uh, true, do try not to startle him. Where, where is me husband's? I was expecting the Sky Steel Manufactory, but instead I find the Village Smithy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I might be ending stream sometime in the near future just because I'm worried about queues at 3 a.m. Although we might run the dungeon that I just ran again one more time. I really want the fending top. Um, he doesn't even realize we're here, or perhaps he has realized but just doesn't care. Oh my god, he has a mullet. Swap him out. No, been there, done that. I love the, the voice they gave him. I love think this Coco, man's think. voice. We'd be well on our way to paradise. Visionaries patting themselves on the backs for their grand accomplishments, if you'd only think. <laughs> yes, that does sound rather lovely. Yeah! I mean, Master Force, you know, what a pleasant surprise. <gasps> We're not blasting off already, are we? This poor man. The remains unchanged. I know. I I love Lullafells. I know that people give Lullafells shit, and I can't understand if you've had bad experience with Lullafell players because there are some that are kind of pushy and shitty. I love Lullafells though. Which is why the forum has elected to accept assistance in resolving the ether burner. Huh. Not seen you lot down here before. Science of the Seventh Dawn at your service. There are Archons among their number, but engineering is not their expertise. Nevertheless, the forum concedes the slim possibility that they may have insights to offer. If not, you are at liberty to return them to the surface. By whatever means you see fit. <laughs> okay, bud. Okay, it looks like the um the video is going to be split in two, and it's already it, it's going to start processing. Okay, thank God. Oi, oi, I'll walk you through it. Suppose I could do with a change of pace. His voice kills me, but I love it. I absolutely love it. As the name ought to tell you, the ether burner burns ether, ambient or otherwise, and transforms it into motive force. Think of it. Like a giant <sighs> YouTube is kind of a weird platform. Like I said, it's like they it's they like low key took my channel down and I had to request for it to be put back up. <laughs> it was just like a really weird situation. I know I'm verifying though, like you should verify platforms that you're gonna be like posting to anyways. Even out in that black void where the ether's right sparse is strong enough to move our arc. <laughs> and it probably won't kill you like an actual bomb. I like him. I like him a lot. <sighs> but it ain't perfect. <laughs> According to my calculations, to travel to the moon and back fast enough for the forum's liking, the conversion rate needs to be 6% more efficient. A measly 6%, you say? But if I could have squeezed even another 0.6 out of it, don't you think I'd have built it that way in the first place? I love him. Hast thou consulted with the Lopperids? Yes, they too are conducting their own research, for lack of a ready answer. The moon's propulsion systems are considerable, naturally, yet they are commensurately massive. It is no easy feat to convert their technology into an efficient means of propulsion for a oh, teeny, 100 tiny toy boat, as they say. Okay, then, 100 percent certainly do not. Yes, exactly. 
Damn it all, I asked for a fine adamantite and they send me uppity rabbits with inscrutable, ancient, incompatible technology. You trying to drive me mad? <laughs> Okay, I have found my new favorite person of this entire expansion, which is a lie, but I do love him dearly already. Do you speak of Alagan refined adamantite, perchance? You know of it. <laughs> of course he does. Only in the most general terms, I'm afraid. Twas an alloy of Alagan make. But the secrets of its production were closely guarded. I don't doubt that. As I recall, the record stated it was vital to Dalamud's construction and launch. Ooh. Okay. Interesting. Oi. That's the stuff. No material more conductive far as I know. Slotting some in, like blowing up a dam and watching the river of Aether come rushing through. I ain't a living soul that knows how to make it, though. We were fortunate enough to salvage some for the ether burner, just a wee bit, mind, from a chunk of Dalamud that came hurtling into the northern empty during the calamity. With more? Well, that extra 6% efficiency will be child's play. It's a crying shame that we've no other sources. I'm pretty sure we can figure something out. Surely the many shards of Dalamud scattered throughout Eorzea would suffice. Why not get the refined adamantite from them? Oh, <laughs> we tried, believe you me. But only a few specialized pieces would have had any in them to begin with. Mm. Drive calls from Ragnarok class internment hulks. Those are the prize bits we really need. According to the gleaners, getting to them means delving deep into the shards. And the defenses are still very operational and very eager to blow them up. <laughs> it's rough going in there, even for the cream. Not sure they'd make it out alive. You want me to go and fetch the Watsons? That may be for the best, though you doubtless find the task too dull for your liking. <laughs> hmm. There are multiple internment hulks in Eorzea alone, so handling this ourselves may not be the most efficient option. Rather, if we could salvage adamantite from the shards simultaneously... Thancred, is the link shell we established before you went to Garlemald still active? Of course. The floor is yours. What's all this? Gathering firewood, so to speak. We alone can accomplish little, but joined by others? We may yet build a bonfire to carry us heaven's ward. I... Okay, just like casually pull, you know, names of other expansions in here. This is Alphano. The Scions have need of you. Understood. I will contact the Lord Commander and dispatch our finest at once. <laughs> oh, I love this! My sisters are somewhat preoccupied with the final days, so I will lead the Twelveswood expedition <laughs> myself. <laughs> oh, this is such a triumphant moment for Alphano. Like, getting to do this in front of his dad, who has not been believing in him and his sister at all, like... Having Are you so aware many of any other sources of refined adamantite? Logically, such an invaluable alloy would have been utilized solely where absolutely mm -hmm. necessary. 
in components intended to conduct or collect surpassing amounts of ether. Any extant instrumentation or devices would have likely found their way into the hands of etherologists or, in or enthusiasts. Magical artifacts of Allegan design? The Eastern Alliance will send word to one and all. I love the Serena in it too. Are there other ways we may offer aid? No shards of the lesser moon scar our soil, but our stake in this cause is no less for it. Is there anything in Othered that might be of use to you? What did you say? Oh, you got friends in far places, lad. Mm -hmm. Any road. If you're offering, I wouldn't say no to one of those Far Eastern sacred relics. Some of them can hold enough ether to summon a whole damn primal. Find a source like that with the ether burner, and three, two, one, kaboom! I gather you heard his explosive enthusiasm. Might you secure us a suitable relic? It shall be done. I know little of machines. But I promise we will do our utmost to gather the materials you need to finish your starship. <laughs> I am glad for the work, in truth. Better to busy oneself than wait and fret over disasters foretold. Then why are we all still standing about yapping? This plunder for the taking. And I'm a born plunderer. Go have some fun, sicker. I'll be an old Charlie and before you know it, start mixing the grog. <laughs> Oh, I'm so glad that he went from a character that I absolutely hated to one of my, like, favorites. I- God, he's terrible. I'm certain that can be arranged. Thank you all, and do be careful. Just like that. Mm-hmm. Aye, just like that. Our refined adamantite is on its way. Now let us consider our next steps, shall we? There's yet much to be done. I love this, like, we're going into this place that has just been a self-sufficient little shithole, and now it's like, here's all the stuff that we can get done in a minuscule amount of time just because we know people, and we have been open to, like, working with others. Yeah, you go feel fucking useless. It's time like these that... Uh, it's time like these were reminded how famous or infamous Alphono has become. Who'd have thought that he could achieve so much through with a single Link Pearl conversation? As we're expecting a rather lot of visitors in the near future, I'd best return to the surface and inform the relevant parties. I also have to contact... I also have a contact of my own that might be worth a try. Oh, and who might that be? That's for me to know and you to find out. God, I love Kryle. I do, I love the characters in this game so fucking much. Like, even the villains. Even the villains are, like, interesting and fun. And, like, I love learning about them. Even if I, like, hate them at the end of it. Like, Xenos. One of my most hated characters ever. I still love to know him and learn about him. And that's Soak. Sort of a villain. I'm gonna fucking cry over him again, I just know it. And on that note, I leave matter matters in your capable- here in your capable hands. Best of luck. <sighs> yeah, I think that we're gonna run the dungeon one more time if we can get a quick enough queue after this cutscene. And then we will- meanwhile, in Ulda. Then I will hit the hay and be back eventually. Hey, Pippin. Our course of action is clear. We must harvest refined adamantite from the shards of Dalamud and procure arcane relics of Allegan make. Summon the best and brightest of our immortal flames and form an expeditionary party at once. Call upon the salt and sworn and brass blades for support as you must. Gonna hit 45 on Dragoon, then you're heading to bed. Nice! Level 50 on Dragoon is a really fun one to hit. Also, like, you've been doing all your class quests, right? 
because um, 30 onward gets just absolute batshit insane. Like the level 50 is one of my favorites. Papashan, send word to the guilds. We will require the expertise of master artisans. You can do a flip. Do your heckin' flip. Of identifying and recovering these elusive you should be able to do two flips by now. One to get into trouble and one to get out. Well, one that temporarily throws you into trouble and another that gets you out of trouble. Fear, guys. We have need of your stone torches. They are to assist the immortal flames in scouring the ruins and to help secure the surrounding areas. I trust I can count on your support. As commander of the Stone Torches, my son Zimberk will personally see it done. Pippin, I would have you lead the raiding party. Assemble your finest, and with Tizona's blade, clear the way. Hmm. <laughs> Lord Lollarito, I pray you take charge of the search for Alagon relics. Surely you know of some being traded on open or clandestine markets, or sleeping in collector's vaults. Of course, I ask not that you do this out of the kindness of your heart. By all means, profit on the transactions. I wish you the joy of it. <laughs> okay, she is. She's learned how to use him well. It's to shitty, but at least she's using him. Our world. If circumstances are truly as dire as they say, Uldar's best efforts may be for naught. And yet, when we Eorzeans rose from the ashes to rebuild our broken realm, did we not learn one simple truth? I think you get a fun one at 50. That which seems all but impossible to overcome alone may yet be possible if we stand together. Yes. It was the Scions who united us then, and it is the Scions who call upon us now. <laughs> Uldar will answer that call. We will summon our courage and join the fight for our world's future. You know your duties. I, Nanamo Ulnamo, 17th in the line of Ul. Bid you good luck and good speed. You tell him, baby girl. Meanwhile, in the Black Shroud. Though, to be fair, I like. I really wish that she would get together with Pippin. I don't know if that's even, like, remotely possible, but they would be a really cute couple. We fielded a goodly number, but our ranks are heavy with healers, and an abundance of restorative magics will be of little help in destroying Dalamud's defenses. Yeah, it's almost like, you know, you should take care of some of them. I'm not going to get into that. Still, it has ever been thus with Gridania. We must steel ourselves for a protracted engagement. Or, you know, you could group up with some other people. <gasps> Lee! In that case, might I suggest taking us along? My girl! <gasps> Nago! What are you doing here? None of the shards in Girabania are big enough to hold an internment hulk. So we said to ourselves, why not lend our neighbors a hand? We thought you might be short on people with a talent for breaking. <laughs> <laughs> and that is the thing that she is best at. While it pains me to admit it, you are right. Our artificiency is so plain to see. Yes. It might have been a lifetime ago, but I was once one of the scions assigned to the shroud. 
I know this forest well. I know your people. And I know we will be stronger if we I fight really love the music together. for this part. Like, this is really good. Then I will impose upon you with a clear conscience. Come, let us speak of how to integrate our forces. You know what? If my math is right, I've been drinking about eight, no, 75 ounces of water a day. Every day I've been streaming this long, if not more. I won't let it all be for nothing. I promise you, Papalima. Papalima, oh. <laughs> mm. Like I said, I have weirdly been taking myself, meanwhile in Curthus, I've been taking care of myself better while doing these long streams somehow. I have eaten a bunch of salad. Oh, it's for you, no! There! There you are! We've no time to waste, brother. Everyone has already... Ah. No! That is a mighty roar. That, that was a roar. Is my husband a awake again? Roar. Tell me Midgar Somer is awake. Tell me Midgar Somer is awake. Please. Meanwhile in the Ruby Sea. Either that or race of cars better like come in like, like swinging, please. At least Tiamat! At least Tiamat! And so, in summation, the Eastern Alliance, as well as the Honorable Lord Lollarito himself, reached out to me for assistance in procuring these treasures of the Divine, and I, in turn, do beseech the Confederacy for aid. Yes! We're getting to work with the- I, I, I hate their name, but the Confederacy in the game is our good folk. Is that? Hancock? What a surprise Sorry, this man. is. I and love how this is just like a victory that. lap of all of the people I we've have met. A favor to ask, you see. Yes, his name is Hancock. I don't think his parents liked him. I can't blame them. Fuck. Okay. Less than five minutes. Okay, let's see if we actually get through this in, um, or get to this in less than five minutes. Pretty common name in England? Probably. Oh yeah, no, 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 he, well, that name is very fitting for him. You see a comedy show called Hancock's <laughs> Oh, it's 3 a.m. We'll see. Come on, come on. There's gotta be a handful more a handful more people doing this. Come on. Let me in. Let me in. I just don't want to have to use my coffer yet. I also want this chess piece in general, anyways.
Not so common now, though, as you would expect. Yeah. Names tend to change when people go, ah ha ha, that is a joke name now. It's just someone. Ah, Miro! <sighs> Part of me is like, I want to go somewhere else and like do something else, but I also don't want to leave. Like, we're gonna give it the full five minutes. Music is just so good in this area, though. You know what? We'll run around and we'll look for aether currents. We can do that here. And west we go. Why are there Jotun here? wait time is just going up I might have missed the uh, opportunity to do this one more time tonight further west we go yeah if the wait time ticks up over um, over seven minutes we might just cancel it out and go to bed for tonight and then I will be back tomorrow Hopefully with an early enough login so that I can, uh, get stream started early. Yep, still further west. Actually, can I get this, uh, other Aetherite? Ah, up here. I'm fine with waiting close to seven minutes, but I don't want to wait much longer than that. Mm, northeast. Oh, now we have the Labyrinthos um, Aether Current uh, list. Okay. It'll be interesting to see what the last place is. Uh, is that northeast that they said? Yeah, northeast. Um, let's go see if we can attune here first. I'm disappointed that I didn't finish off uh, Thavnir yet, and Elpis won't take too long. I mean, you can always run around and do that. Um, I have a feeling we're not going to be able to... Nope, this is just right here. Okay, cool. Also, why did they give their Mamet's hair? Like, I don't understand that. Of all of the decision these rational people make. Also, I could probably go war. And we'll continue running around and picking up uh, Aether Currents while also getting a little bit of extra XP on it. Mm. I'll have to decide if we're going to play catch up first thing in the morning or if we're going to... Um... work on um, just getting through story first thing. Because I think, depending on when I wake up, um, we'll probably get up and we will either 
continue on with story immediately or we'll try to do this dungeon again because I have a feeling I'm not going to be actually able to do it tonight since it has taken this long and nobody has joined the party yet or nobody's uh, formed in the party yet. Which I mean, it's 3 a.m. It's 1 a.m. on the West Coast. Come on. Oh, wait, Northwest? Oh, I don't like that that dude is... Don't see me, bro. Don't see me, bro. And now we can run. Yeah, somehow we went from seven minutes to six minutes, but we're over seven minutes on the time. Uh, people might be doing preformed parties. So yeah, I have, I mean, like, number one, I'm not going to get any of the trials done if I even, like, worked faster on getting other things uh, together. Oh, north? Just north? No, oh, eh. I can't jump over this. What is the point in a horse if you can't jump over a fence? I also don't like that there's an enemy, like, right there. I'm gonna go paladin just in case. I have a feeling I'm gonna have to murder if I'm actually gonna get this. No? Cool. <laughs> yeah, now we're at nine minutes and average wait time of eight. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna withdraw. We'll run it, um, as early as I possibly can tomorrow. Charlie and Hamlet. I wonder if we're gonna get Charlie and Housing. That seems more likely than the Crystarium, but I'm also, like, bummed that we won't get Crystarium Housing. Let me just get this real quick. Oh, that's all of the Aetherites here. Let's see. How are we doing on Aether Currents? We're missing five, and then we need to do the quests for them. Yeah, I think I'm actually going to play catch up before we hard grind story tomorrow. So actually, let me go ahead. I'm going to throw us in at... Yelmad. Yelmad? Do I want to go to Yelmad or... Why is that so early? Why is what so early? Up near... The first one? The first trial is amazing. Uh... Laka Stand is going to be the closest one, I think. No, that one's down in the... Mm. No, we're gonna go to Rotsethan. But no, that's about where it usually goes. Which part of the server has a queue, queue time? Uh, what, what do you mean, um, Ivan?
You thought it would be later on? Nope. Though you probably won't get anybody doing it this late at night. Because I can't even get people doing the, uh, the third dungeon. Or is it the fourth dungeon? Fourth dungeon. You finished it? Oh! Well, never mind then. You got people? Sweet. I, I love the trial, though. Other parts of the server to reduce queue times? Oh, that's only, um... Okay, so visiting the server things is, um... It's either, one, you're visiting a different... Like, you're visiting a different instance to make sure that you can get into the area that you need to get into. Or, if you're trying to reduce, um, like, login times, which is what I'm gonna do here in just a minute. Um, that was the wrong button. Is you can log out in, um... At a... Where is it on the map? There's just gotta be one here. Game? Where's the... Bed? Hello? Bed? Do we not have in-rooms here? Are you fucking serious? There's gotta be in-rooms here. This is one of the main cities. Or, I guess, no, this is in, uh, no, okay, I'll be fine. You nerded out a pink made fem row. <laughs> but, um, you yeah, know, you can log out in in-rooms and that usually helps because they're solo instances. But, yeah, no, I'm remembering you don't get in-rooms in the, uh, heal more either, which is really dumb. What are the shoes, though? Hold on. Alright. I will listen to you, nerds, and I will go ahead and I will go to bed. Although I'm gonna try these on really quickly before, um... Okay, let me see. Armory chest. Let's see. Try on. Eh, not my taste. Nah, both of those can go. I will. Thank you guys so much for being here, as always. Um. Uh, sell so the on the market. Yeah, later today. Just later today. I will be back, you know, sooner rather than later, as I am wont to be. Oh, okay. But I will be bringing you hopefully the end of the game, or at least the end of uh, this part of the game. Um, thank you guys so much for being here. I look. I at least I have not done a twenty-four hour stream yet. We have had eighteen and. 14 and this is almost 15 so you know i'm like par for the course but we did get things figured out with the youtube channel so we're gonna have vods up um thank you guys so much for being here um i'll be back tomorrow uh you know as usual um but i will see you guys then <sighs> hopefully we get to finish this hopefully we get to finish this but for now good night